Hmm. Alright. I didn't do this on an expert before, so I'm going to do it on expert now. I'm going to skip stuff. Because on expert... Oh wait, yeah, some notes mention the use of a powerful artifact to control a master servant. Steal it, you could use it to your advantage later. There's an extra objective behind that, which makes this mission a lot more... A little, well, a little more cohesive. It makes it, makes it a little less uh, pessimistic, I suppose. Um, that I want to try. I'm not recording, so this, this is just me going to be mucking about. If someone drops in on the stream, then they drop on in the stream and they say hi. And I'll try and pay attention to chat, because I am not doing this for the sake of... Well, I've played this mission before, I'm not going in blind. I'm just going in to try and explore everything and everywhere, so... I'll be quick saving, quick loading a lot. I will be destroying bots when it seems to be... I don't know. Convenient. We'll ghost if I want to ghost or not. If I don't, I'll just... I'm just going to need to play around, see if I can... Explore it all, find all... The secret stuff, maybe find all the loot, I'm not sure. Um, although, very dark. Again, this is only because the room is bright and I can't, I can't unbrighten the room in it. I mean, um, I'm just gonna turn the brightness up. I think. Let me just take a screenshot showing the default setting. Because I'll probably want to change it back when I'm done. It's still not good enough for those room conditions. Kind of annoying. Oh wait, maybe is that actually changing anything? Maybe I don't have the software gamma. Yeah, it's not changing anything. Hang on, let me let me just change the the config here. Um, what was it? That one. Oh, let's change it in uh, next. Now, of course, it's going to be massively bright. Uh, I didn't save that. Let's do it now. You can already see that it's uh, massively overblown. Wow, it's, it's like daylight in here. Ugh, that's awful. Okay, that means that what it was set to was meaningless anyway. Yeah, so that's about where it was. So I put it about there. Then I can see your right given the brightness of the room I'm in. Okay. Now, I know I missed stuff before, right? What is this? It feels significant, right? It's dark with a red light or a I mean, it's not, it doesn't open, right? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be just a charging station for, uh, for a smaller bot. I don't know. Um, this is the way to the sewers, right? And there was some talk about stuff in the sewers. I, don't, I need to do that. Like, there's some way to get there, which is... I don't know if there is. Now I know it's possible. Well, a speed version there. Can't reach it. Um, I know it's possible to get to this part with the crane before you get to the rest of the area, I believe, but uh, I don't remember how. And what's in there? Anything? Maybe not. Ooh, when they say the cost of performance. I'm feeling some performance issues already, I think. 
Yeah, I'm definitely doing some frame rate. Frame hitching, which I didn't get before. Uh, okay, let's actually turn all these off. Since I know I'm going to need to do it, you know, use my uh, pre existing knowledge. Wasn't there one in this area somewhere? Yes. One. I think, I think three more were through here, and the last one was uh, only accessible from Crane. Oh my god, this frame lag is this lag is really annoying. Um, anything up there, maybe? Do I have new metal on? Let me, let me check that I've got new metal on. I do have a new mental one. <laughs> That's probably make decent hard saves. Oh god, now the other is in the way I can't see Twitch. That's better. Um, yeah, so... Did I do that one? I did. Uh, I guess I can save over my previous saves, it doesn't matter. Oh, whatever. I don't need them, right? Is that a door? So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm just streaming this casually for fun. So there's another one I need that I need to get to from the other side. Um, not expecting. I'm just going to try and do everything I'm one expert this time. So probably got less equipment, but more importantly, there will be more objectives. Uh, and I'm not really because I played this mission before already. Now I'm not gonna tr even try to uh, pretend uh, that I don't know what's going where I'm just going to be going around and trying to find as much stuff as I can because I know there's a lot that I missed before um, anything else up here I could have sworn there were two things up here Well, maybe I'm misremembering. So yeah, this is very casual. If you, if anyone's in chat, I will be, um, I will be responding to chat every now and again. I'll look over, um, as usual. Well, I'm like usual. Usually, when I play, it's because I'm focused and trying to record and not pay attention to chat. Whereas this time I will be paying attention to chat every now and again. And, uh, probably just talking about random. Ah, uh. ow. Do I like that? Sure, whatever. I need to get up there. Where can I get up there again? Was it up there or was it? I don't remember. What's up here? Was there any point to being down here then? Can't get around that. I wonder do these stick into these? Is this Kansas great? It does. I wonder if they uh, modified the list of kind of sticky uh, vine capable surfaces because that's a very thief one texture. I don't think it got much use in Thief 2 and it certainly didn't get any use as far as I recall in um, the, the metal-y bits of Thief 2, you know? Saltforge area. Oh, that's where I need to come up here. So that doesn't open, right? No, it's not. Does it open at all? No, it's not even solid. Right, so it comes through here and gets me to this other room. A little more loot. Healing potion, nice. Flares, well, probably won't use them. Some more vines and moss. 
I mean, this is this is like a very un. I mean, the fiction here is that they just shoved all the old Hammerite stuff in here, but like Hammerites wouldn't have fine arrows. Fine arrows were uh, a Victoria thing. Hammerites wouldn't have moss arrows. He flash bombs, yes. Healing potions, maybe. Apples, sure. Build the statues, yes. They got lots of those. Uh, where's the switch? There's a lever that opens it. Oh, there it is. Uh, and secrets, yes. So there were 12 secrets, I think, listed. Um, actually, let's, let's check. So I can just do I can just do this and cheat. This isn't the Gort map, so we can... Uh, nine secrets. Okay, so we've got eight more secrets to find. Uh, four things and loot. Okay. I do want to find all the secrets if I can. Uh, if I can without looking them up. So, sometimes when you come into this room, you hear the guy inside, or, or you hear a ghost or something, you hear a voice saying, all gone, all gone. And then of course you come in here and find the guy dead, like, as if he's only just killed himself there. Uh, so what do we got? We got this. We have that. Oh wow, this lag when it's loading sounds. Moss. Fire. Oh, there's marked secret, but they're all nice to have. Nothing up there. I feel like there's a bit of loot that I found before that I'm missing. Oh, I didn't even come down this passage, did I? Wait, I went there, okay. Kind of annoying that they have put sound effects for water flowing through pipes, but those aren't the pipes with the valves you need, and there are pipes with these bright red valves. But that's baked into the pipe model, and while it might be animatable, I don't know. Uh, if you put a tweak on it, it might be, I don't know. It might be a joint. But it's certainly not probable, it's not a separate object. So it's, it's I think, a very poor design decision to make a, an objective that says find the five valves on the water pipes and then the water sounds don't clue you into it and the visible, highly visible valves everywhere are unrelated and instead you have to find these uh, nearly invisible until you frob them once right? that's that's really hard to see it's, it's, firstly it's like paper thin there's a gauge there that doesn't even respond to the valve you know there's, there's a lot of ways they could have made that less frustrating a, uh, an objective I guess we need to go and uh, go up to the top. Any any fire crystals in there? Nothing on top. Hello, dude. I don't think there's anything down here, but I don't remember for sure. I can't get down there anyway. Oh wait, I know, I know what I missed. I know. What I was thinking of that I missed before was it was way back here. Let me just go. It was just a fire arrow, maybe. It was up there. Maybe it's just some loot. Did I do that one? I did. But this is really awkward, right? You. You kind of can't get round there, but you kind of have to to get this one thing. Yeah, it's fire arrow. And sometimes you can walk through there, sometimes you can't. Then this is really hard to stand on and jump off. It's just a little, a little too awkward. I don't know if I can do the jump. Oh, two water arrows. I missed them last time. Okay. And a healing potion. Okay. So that's another secret. So I found, I got the fire arrow last time I played by just leaning over from there and throwing it, but I didn't see anything else, and I don't think it triggered as a secret. Okay, that's two of nine. 
I guess you could stick a fine arrow on one of those rather than rather than try to jump. Uh, risk. Okay, which which side is the ladder that I need to grab? Uh, left. Let's go left. All right. Because what you don't want to do is all uh, oh right the ladder on the side. What you don't want to do is fall down there. Actually, I'll do it anyway. Fine. What you don't want to do is fall down here and get. Uh, pull into the grinders. It's all fun. It's like uh, it's like that bit in Grim Fandango, where um, oh, what's his name? Your annoying co-worker who's who deserves to be crushed to death in the grinders. Why can't you be more like me, Maddie? That's not his voice at all, but whatever. Um, I do, I remember that, um, oh yes, here, here is what I was thinking of. I missed this last time. I found it from the other side, but, uh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, but in Grim Pandega, where, what is his name? I wish I, I wish I could remember. I hate the way my brain does. Right, so this is, like, the first... This is really kind of shouldn't, in a way, be able to come this way because it it really brings you to oh god look he's got a uh, thing stuck in his neck a saw right it's already bringing you face to face with alarms turrets and uh, and things that feel like it shouldn't be reachable yet or you know it's telling it's telling the story before it's told the story I'm reaching the interior of the Builders Paradise before going up the roof um, hello he's got a mine I'll take that armory key which I never found last time so that's good oh look his hands being cut off too so if I just uh, Right, and I can hear the other guy walking past there. Can I... I could... No, if there was a vine arrow, maybe I could get up the top? I don't see any place to attach a vine. It feels like a secret skip going here. Yeah, 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 you didn't see anything. Shut it, you. Camera, okay, if, like, if I go down that doorway, it won't open. So I didn't actually get to this place before. Um... Whatever. Oh wait, no, I did because I. Huh, wait. So this does, this gets me here, right? So now we've already shut off the five water valves before we even know it's a thing. Um, but let's go. So this will be your way through. What's that say? Nave. Right, I can't get through the nave because the door is shut. But this brings me to the crane. Okay, so I can't get, I can't completely sequence break because the door to the nave is inaccessible. Um, and if I come through here, which is now above the crane, I think there's there is some stuff to be got. I think there's a scanning orb, which is useful. I have to check up above as well. Uh, that door at the far end there that can normally connects to the factory. Anything up here? This door there, I can't, won't be able to open yet. So I can't fully sequence break, it just feels just a slight, you know, skip ahead to this, to this section. Get the scanning orb early for, you know, for what little that matters. So that's not a door, right? That's a fake door. And this one, I can't pick. It needs to be opened with a lever from the factory side. But I can grab a speed push. And I could... Maybe drop down there without taking damage, but I can probably just go back this way more easily. Uh, let's override my big save. Actually, let's make a note. I've got two secrets so far. Secret. Can't even spell. Yeah, you saw nothing.
Now the question is, is there anything at this spot that I might want? No, nothing collectible, nothing pickable. Open! Thank you. Okay, so there's, there's my way back to the basement anyways. You can get from the basement. I've done all five valves. I keep getting... I can now go up to the roof. Um, there's another thing, there's like a... Elevator sound effect here. A grinding sound, which is not the grinding, the, uh, the humming. This one. That's used for elevators and it's very confusing to hear it there when there's not an elevator. Alright, we'll open the doors. And push the button to bring the elevator. I still really like the way they've got the rust gas particles flowing out of there. You don't have anything on your belt, do you, mate? Did I miss? No. Alright. Now, here's another thing I missed last time. Is when you actually take the lift. Um, the golden child appears in that window for some reason. Just, just materializes. I don't know why. And he's just still standing there. If I go back. Unresponsive. Alright, now there's definitely some stuff I missed up here last time. Why did this guy have water arrows? That doesn't quite make sense, but I won't complain. I'm gonna need them. Uh, I can open the main gate. None of that works. So it's possible to get to the upper levels here. I mean, you know, it looks like it, and I thought last time I could, but I couldn't find the way to do it. What was that? S sudden... Squeak. I don't know. Um, but it's used from outside that you get there. So if we want to go forward, we go in there, but... Uh, there is... Where's the guy? That guy's up there. There's this guy with stuff. I think that's it. Nothing else I can snag. And then... No, I don't remember how I got up there before. Can't mantle that, I don't think. I remember looking around confused and it was difficult and then it turned out to be really easy. I don't remember how it was really easy. Maybe we can just get up here. Yeah. Really easy. But I remember struggling to mantle on all these broken edges and just not being able to. Uh, and as you can see now we can just jump across to the upper level. Nothing on this side. I don't think. Where is... Oh, that's what the squeak was. It's this fan. If somebody's going to hear it down below. So, there's this room here. Clearly at one point had uh, some bots in it, right? That doesn't look... Doesn't this dial look suspicious? Doesn't that wall look suspicious? Who'd have thought even the Keepers had a secret room in Karis's inner sanctum? But... Even the Keepers look at these piles of sand here, a ring, Keeper Medallion, even the Keepers are not immune to the rust gas. So, uh... 
Yeah, does that did that get marked as a secret? I didn't notice. Feels like it should be marked as a secret. It's fairly well hidden. Firstly, there's the like. Firstly, there's the being able to get up to the upper level. Secondly, there's the secret. Like there should have been something in this room that you could pick up. I guess there is. Hey, I didn't notice that. <laughs> should be something a little more obvious in this room that you could pick up. So it feels like this room. You know, there's some something that you get in this room is what's is the reward for coming here. That's very well hidden in terms of like visibility. Like I can tell that it's solid. Um This one isn't, right? It's like just that little valve you tweak. Which highlights from quite a long way away actually. But if there's something else here, then it would feel like, oh, well, I just pick up the, you know, fire arrow or something out of the, from the boiler of the spot or something, and that's all it is. And then there's a, you know, layer, that, any keeper, anything you have with the keepers should be doubly secret, right? You want to have layer the secrets. So that you find it, and you think you found it all, and there's actually something more. Okay, let me just check if that was marked as a secret because I didn't notice. Um, yes, three. Okay. Dum dum. It's a little bit slow to load. Three secrets. Now, apparently, someone said. That, I mean, you can't drop down there, obviously, without dying. Someone said throwing a scouting orb down there is, is rewarding. Oh, hello! What the hell is that thing? Uh, it feels like it's supposed to be doing something other than standing in place. Okay, so there's a little, uh, an odd bot down there. Oh, that's not good. Assembled with a whole lot of different parts. I wonder what the... Wonder, and it looks like it's spitting out rust gas too. I wonder what the... Uh, what that's meant to be. Uh, other places, like, it looks like, you know, you should be able to get up there to that collector tower, but I don't think you can. Let's just see what's down here. On this side, if anything. Probably nothing. All right, let's keep us going, all. Head in. Now, as I said, I'll be playing a lot more recklessly. Oh yeah, there's that thing that flies past. So I guess Karis has lots more bots than merely exist in this place that are unexplained. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that's that. I'm not going to listen to you. Nope, I'm not listening. So here we are in the museum. So, there's another thing, right? That creepy kind of guy that follows me around everywhere that will spawn shortly is apparently Colonel whoops K-E-R-N-E-L that a lot of notes and stuff refer to is like he was kind of the come on nope this is this is really annoying 
thing here. You can sometimes get across just fine, but it depends on the, like, because of your movement in Thief actually depends on the cycle of where your steps are. Sometimes you can just step across that like that. Sometimes you can. Okay, so there's four secrets. Let's just get it and collect the pieces. I don't think I need to pick him up, but I do want the stuff you had. Teeth bread too, why not? Where is it? Oh, he has a note. I missed. Ah, uh, yes. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's all your fault. This is really weird. The robot's repairing most of the damage. Soon no one will ever know that anybody just died in here. Not even the Belfry, which just fell yesterday. It's like, what? And he's... That's a non sequitur, but it feels like it's hinting at something else. Uh, get acid. Like, the writing here could have done with some editing. The only way to stop this monster could be some acid in an important quantity, which might require too much water and acid waste canister for a simple worker like me. It's like hinting that the acid waste uh, is useful for destroying the bots, which is true. Um, this monster, he's talking about one or all of them? He will kill us all. Uh, is he talking about Karas or is he talking about Colonel? I don't know. He said this monster, not these monsters. But uh, Acid doesn't destroy Colonel. Um, I think it is possible to destroy him. I just don't remember how. Oh, see, I've done it again quite, quite successfully. I could get down by climbing down the sculpture, but I think I'll just go in the normal way. Friends met not the killing machine down there. The choice be yours, friend. May the builder guide thy path. Yep, yep. Let's wait for it to finish. Save so four secrets. Oh, look, I almost spelt it right that time. Um, okay, so that's the museum. This is the engineer's quarters, which we can't get into from the time. That does open, but only with a lever. That's another thing I don't entirely like about this mission. I mean, it's fine, it's, fine. it's okay, but it's a little... It feels a little too contrived. There's a few too many passages which only open up via levers from the other side, and it kind of Metroidvania style. Okay, see this place I thought was creepy at first, but now it's just, I know it's empty. Um, I don't remember there being anything in this room. Oh, it connects to the main part of the museum. Guess I'm wrong, there's clearly loot, right? Well, that's not valuable. Oh wait, hang on. I don't remember where that goes. Don't get stuck on the doors, Garrett. So this... Oh right, this can actually be by the museum, but it doesn't open from this side because the lever's broken, that's right. Open, that's me. This whole museum, I've... I don't like the concept. It just... Why would Karis build a museum to other things, to the precursor stuff? He is... like... Hello, clean about. See, I killed that out of just terror last time. It's just coming here, slowly cleaning up the sand, you know? Well, doing what I can. It's gonna take a while. So, the clean about can live. I, I don't mind the clean about now. Uh, maybe I'm missing some other loot that's in somewhere in this room or in this museum area. I don't know. But yeah, Karis. This just feels like a museum is not something Karis would have in his um, uh, 
it might be something he would have had before. Gonna need the key for that before the his plan, right? In order to, um, you know, lure the nobles into whatever he was trying to do, whatever that sort of thing. Um, hey, the diamond drill that I need for uh, that other mission. I like that fire, so that's, that's cool. But why would why would Karis put a big museum to precursor artifacts in in kind of like you know the place that is his building, his builder's paradise building that is built for him to live out, you know, beyond the end of the Raskas end. You know, this is uh, this building is kind of supposed to be. Um, what's it called? This is Karis' Rapture, right? This is where he and his chosen few, but his chosen few turn out to be all converted to robots, uh, will live. But he wouldn't build a museum, because he doesn't want... He would He would want a museum to himself, maybe, but not a museum to precursors. So it feels like this is kind of not... Doesn't really... Doesn't really fit. Doesn't fit my conception. Um, let's do another hard save, just for... A place to come back to. Yeah, I know I compared this to System Shock 2. Pretty, the comparison is more even System Shock 1 in a way. More 2 is apt, but it also takes a, seems to draw from Bioshock. Well, maybe that's just the art deco ness in here. Uh, Alright, so this, this is weird. Like, this is supposed to not work properly, but it kind of seems to work properly. It's like. It's a big moment, everything flashes, you get trapped. Only you barely have time to notice that you're trapped before you just let out again. And then it closes because Mr. Kern comes through. I'm, I'm not gonna wait for him. He can come find me in here. Uh oh. Maybe I missed those last time, I don't know. Okay, so with this I can destroy bots. Maybe he's not coming to me. Up, down, down. Do. to read that yeah that's about the mask of night that's friend colonel power canister in the generator room that'll be important later One shall become a throne, though. What? Can I get up the top there? I'm going to experiment now. I'm just, just try and use this canister. If I can find it. There it is. Okay, that's... Four of those, that's not good. Like, four... Okay, I know I can use it on the other bots. Um... Like the children of 
the dangerous children counters. But two is enough to deal with. So, uh, Wait, oh, we might need you later. Alright, did I miss anything else down here? Well, how about that? Punishment. Oh, there's going. Okay. Uh, was there anything in this telescope? I don't remember. So Colonel's kind of annoying once you know his his trick, his gimmick. Thing I can't read. Uh, where are we now? This is the observatory. Yeah, I don't remember wait, how to get anywhere. So I can go up there, or I can go through here. Alright, this just takes me to the other side of... event we saw earlier. So that is a quick way around to go back to the museum. If I need it. <sighs> Friend Colonel will probably come and bother us in here in a minute, but uh, could get down to the dining room that way or he can come down there. Wait, so... This is coming... Kind of come down to get here, right? If I go back to the observatory, where does this take me? Oh, I didn't go to that table either. Let's grab the loot. 4,700, right? It's total, so we're halfway there already, actually. <laughs> Alright, so this is above where we entered, okay. Oop, I thought he was facing the other way. So this will take me to the artifact. The device works by using a powerful artifact. Uh, see the lid levers here. Up, down, down, up. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. You're nice and dark. Okay. Uh. Up. Down, down, up, and then it slides aside. Aha! The artifact is not. When I played on uh, hard difficulty, it was just loot. But now, it's the eye. But it doesn't talk to me! It must be a fake. Optional. So the artifact was the eye. Perhaps a ritual to restore the world at a later date is possible. If you find sources of elemental power in the compound. So kind of the reverse of the trickster's ritual then? Or just do the trickster's ritual again, huh? The elements are birth, vine, water, firestorm, stone, and night. Are they going to be all checked off individually? Because otherwise it's going to be... So that's the extra objective that's only here on Expert. I don't know... Uh, for sure how it works. Whether, whether it's a ritual I actually have to do, or whether I just collect the items, which would be slightly disappointing. To just have, you know, these seven extra... Oh, hello, I forgot about your camera there. 
seven extra things to collect without any real purpose to them. Funny, I wonder if Colonel is bugged because he hasn't come to bother me quickly yet. Oh well, he will respawn and come to bother me somewhere else because he that's what the way he does. He's just triggered to spawn at various places. It's kind of transparent when you start to pay attention, but uh, whatever. Uh, so I could get down here, but if I go this way, I can get to the ladders, which gets me some more loot, I think. And there was that dodgy fan sound, which is, you know, the sounds. There's... <laughs> no, I'm not going to take that. Um, don't, don't put angled ladders in your maps, guys. Angled ladders are bad. Angled ladders are the work of the trickster. All ladders are bad, right? But angled ladders are worse, because, like, the way you get onto a ladder from above doesn't always work properly. Right, I should attach here. But if it's angled, that's fine, I didn't take damage that time. If it's angled, it doesn't attach properly. So you can't you can't get down onto it. You can get up onto it by jumping, but not just by walk attaching. There the ladders were never made to work. Oh hello. Take you. Should probably throw all the flares out, but maybe I need them later for getting these other elements. I wonder if this kid kills me. Nope. Uh, now what? Oh, uh, hello. Oh, you suck. You heard me. Ah, see, and you can't mantle off the edge of them properly, and then they put this thing at the top, which, if you're a little too far to the left, means you get stuck onto the ladder and can't dismount properly. It's... I mean, they put a vine out of the place, though. They should have just left that and thrown away the ladder. Would have been less dangerous. Yeah. Angled ladders are bad. Lots of fan machine authors like to use them, and they're just... They're even more deadly than... Ordinary. <clears throat> ah, don't take down this carrot. This leads to the engineer's quarters, I think. Yes, okay. Alright, there's a big stompy guy in here, that's right. That's right. Yep, now you're in my way, so I'll have to deal with you. What do I need from the engineer's quarters? I don't remember. Well, that's gonna need a key. Lots of unreadable books. Another trick I'm not a fan of, because then you just have to go and mouse over every book to find out which ones are readable. Every, you know, book object. Like, if the mission was consistent, that, like, the big gear ones were readable and all the others weren't, it'd probably be okay, but... What did I get... What did I attach to them? Did they land on the actual shelf? Maybe. Um... Well, I could turn the lights on. Nice dark spot, good spot for other hard save.
Lots of healing potions. That's right, this mission gives you a ton of healing potions, even on expert. It is very generous in that regard, and I appreciate that. Uh, did I miss that last time? I don't know. I don't remember it specifically. Poor fellow got crushed by the wardrobe. I can tell he didn't have anything on him. Oh, a fire arrow there. I didn't realize it was a fire arrow. So he had a fire crossbow and got crushed. Okay. Like, these little vignettes have crushed. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, crushed guys and stuff is all going to be very system shock too. And this, what weirdly stretched maybe once was a person. Well, did they drown themselves, or did they just get put there by a bot? I mean, it's blood as well, so maybe they didn't die by jumping. Seven healing potions already. All right, what's this one? Prototype of the Bronze Angels, right? So I misunderstood this last time. The prototype is not has not the entire armature; it's the kind of scrappy-looking ones that actually look like they're out of System Shock Two. Get vulnerable to hard blows on the back of the head, and the moving system goes in maintenance mode. Um, my hands are working; it's still not as accurate as ours. The new generation, with new armature and advanced artificial voice, the new generation are the ones that are rolling Garrus's throne room. Um, more resistant to heat and corrosion. The gas is nevertheless an issue. So, gas will apparently gas arrows will apparently kill even the final angels. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the corrosion ones, the corrosion arrows, do kill them. Oh, hello. Is that just decorative, or is the way that texture is on the side makes it look like there's a panel here that can open? But it doesn't go clang, so it's just, it's just a lie. Uh, where was gonna go? Where is this study room? Is this part of the library? Or is this on, this on its own? I can't remember. There's a very I mean, they put a lot of detail into this mission, right? All these pipes and stuff, these fences are some kind of fancy grill work door for the shelves. Um, but everything, there's, very, there's an odd scrappiness about it. Everything feels rough at the same time as detailed. Like... Like the scale of the details versus the scale of the other stuff is all wrong or something? I don't know, it's hard to describe. Um, control room key, I'll, I'll need that. Uh, bloody handprints on the picture, I don't think I saw them before. Hello. Thank you. 2,000 odd to go. Okay, so that doesn't connect to the library. Um, and I can't get through here, right? These don't open on this side. Can't be picked. So the dining room. Right, do these tell me anything important? Uh, see, I thought I misunderstood this. I thought this, you know, the builder's paradise. Uh, workers are allowed. Engineers and workers are allowed to come late to the ceremony. I kind of felt. Another ceremony could eventually be organised should these friends arrive too late. See, I thought that was going to be an objective, to organise a ceremony to bring people to one place in order to do something. Um, this one is obviously a hint about the pneumatic tubes, which uh, unfortunately get uh, very little use. I think there's like three, two or three messages only. 
Maybe they didn't want to overdo it, but it felt like they underdid it instead. Oh, hello. This is the other side of the stairwell. Where we get a candle. But we can't get through because the guy's been crushed. Uh, okay, so that's not where I needed to go. Was this door the way I came in then? Oh yeah, this little dark hallway, which is the easiest camera to get past in the history of cameras and thief. <laughs> you need to be a little careful up here, because I did see one of those prototype angels knocking around. But... As we heard, or as we learnt from the uh, message this time, they have a weakness. Two string blows to the back of the head. Dining room, okay. So where did he come from? The dining room? Or this room? Oh, this is the nave. Okay, so where do I want to go first? Um, I really should probably just go to this cave room first and get and kick things off. So that's the eastern side. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make a hard save here now. Camera's looking away. Where's the bot though? The bot has not determined, so that's okay. Yeah, there's a little edge there, it's just too hard to get up. Oops. That's the one I needed. Money. Don't need the maces, the maces are pointless. And our good bot friend is coming back now. I think I'll just destroy him. Um, in theory, I could use the switch in Karis's place to make everything neutral. It didn't seem to work. Actually, I should try it again. I should try it again. I don't need to kill this guy just yet. Like, I tried it last time I played, and it failed. Like, it really didn't actually neutral is still attacking me. I don't know why. But if I get the plot started sooner, then I'll be able to maybe make these guys neutral, or maybe not. You know, I can just... What's that waving in front of my face there? Huh. A pixel from something. Some broken polygon in front of me. Okay. Uh, maybe make these guys neutral, maybe not. But, regardless of them, I will be able to turn off all the cameras permanently, I believe. Factory assembling section. Is that thou, Gent? I am surprised to see thee again, despite being unable to say if I am pleased or annoyed by it. I must admit our last meeting has disappointed me. What a shame to see the thief said to be the smartest and most skilled coming onto I with such a single weak and pathetic plan and fleeing on failure. From the one who vanquished the trickster, I was expecting much better. Now thou shalt excuse me, but I have several projects to achieve, and thou wilt be blessed to see the fulfillment. See thy death. Yeah, two hits to the back of the head. Oh, there's a camera there. Oh, you won't see me here. Two hits to the back of the head, and they go down, which is good. 
unlike their bigger ones. So, like this guy is here, supposed to meet me, right? And this whole section screams, go away. It's like, firstly, who walks up to one of these guys who's standing there with his eye open willingly? Until you run out of a lot of options, it doesn't make any sense. Secondly, that whole room is an obvious trap, uh, an obvious death trap. Why would you want to go into it? Hi, guy. Yeah, what if I don't want to hear the words of cars? Like all these turrets. And all these angels. No more weakness. No more rebellion. No more wars. Just uh, but maybe I can get rid of most of these angels. The first of purity and flawlessness. Thy mind With uh, the curse of water. Questions about the limits of their abilities. Yeah. What does he eat? Metal rivets? Thou canst do laugh at his best creations, yet thou wilt never carry on playing for eternity. The scheming is an operation, Garrett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really want to listen to him, but it will trigger things, the script, afterwards. I wonder if I can crush, I wonder if I can crush all these guys with the lift. <laughs> That'll be funny. They probably won't path underneath the lift, but, uh, maybe. And the builder will thank thee. I will receive his oh, bless nice. in the name of all your sacrifices. And will be immortal on his side. Hast thou no limit, or canst thou help thyself? This gold was not yours. <laughs> well, that was less successful than I had hoped. Actually, I should just try it now, right? Just... Thou wilt never carry on playing for eternity. The scheming is an operation, Garrett. The battle beast will be large on people, and thou canst not prevent it. I mean, it kills them now, but there's no splash damage because they're too far apart. No. So that's going to be very wasteful. Where's that mine? Thou wilt never carry on playing for eternity. The scheming is in operation. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I, I don't really need to bother with this, I don't Thou canst do that at his best creations. Yet thou wilt never carry on playing for eternity. The scheming is in operation, Garrett. The metal beings will be our new people, and thou canst not prevent it. There will be no water, no underground hideout, no unholy forest to hide the impure one. Thou wilt disappear with the rest, and the builder will thank thee. I yeah, yeah, yeah. will receive his bless in the name of all your sacrifices. Yeah, yeah. And will be immortal on his side. Are you done? Hast thou no limit? Or canst thou help Alright, why don't you step on the mine over there? This gold was not yours, nor useful to thine cause. And now thou hast sacked half of this holy place. If thy goal is a wealthy demise, may it be. <laughs> yeah, probably better for me just to leave him alone, huh? Uh. Thou wilt never carry on playing for eternity. 
The scheming is in operation. Oh, I, can, I don't have to wait for him. The metal beams will be armed, people, and thou canst not prevent it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There will be no water, no underground hideout, no unholy forest to hide the impure one. Thou will disappear with the rest, and the builder will thank thee. I will receive his bless in the name of all your sacrifices, and will be immortal on his side. Hast thou no limit, or canst thou help thyself? This gold was not yours, nor useful to thine cause. And now thou hast sacked half of this holy place. Only half. If thy goal is a wealthy demise, may it be. Now, alright. That's a good place to save, because now he's finished his bloody chatter and I won't have to listen to it again. Uh, no, Karis, you're wrong. The gold was helpful to my cause, because... Oh, wait, no, I don't have a loot goal. You're right. I don't actually have to collect gold. But, you know, I might want to build a house made of gold when I get out of here, because... Or eat gold. Because there's nothing else to eat now that you've destroyed the world. Oh, I can send it back down again. Don't know why I'd want to. Um... Five fire arrows. Where did he go? I thought he was hanging around down there. Oh, I need to go in there to switch the lever. Yeah, he was hanging around in there. Here he comes. Oh, he's just going in and out. Okay. So this one... Okay, one fire arrow is enough. I don't know if it's a good idea to destroy them as I come across them. Hopefully I'll have enough resources to do that with all of them. Open the emergency exit, which is not fully open. This is another slightly awkward puzzle because I pull that lever. It doesn't really make sense for it to be there in the library that's not a library. And this opens this door here, fine. But then what I need to do is I can't get through here because it's all collapsed. I need to open the door on the other side, which I can't see. So both arrows, both levers or not? I don't know. Oh, I can open that door. Okay, maybe it is both. Maybe I can get through here then. I thought this was a dead end. So where does this take me? Alright, oh, okay, yeah, this is above Karish's quarters. So that's the break room. Uh, I haven't even found the note for the break room this way, but if I had, I would know that this was where I kind of needed to come uh, in order to find... Well, let's go there, because I know that that's where the uh, people I need to, or the ex people, I suppose, that I need to find are. And friend Colonel will start mucking about in here too. Security room. This kicks off the main objective, so let's go save, and it definitely brings Colonel in. Blah, 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 new objectives. Uh, follow the steps of the plan. So we've got to shut down the factory. We've got to uh, do the crystal thing. We've got to turn off the green glowing pipe. That's really important. If we do that first, 
Um, split the network. Bypass this crystal. Oh, that's the note from Colonel. She doesn't have anything important to say, does he? No. This, uh, blah, blah. What does it say? Carriage possesses a similar size can turn on and off. Takes five minutes to proceed and fix the construction. Um, now, I have a feeling that if you do this, I don't get stuck. Garrett. Like, I thought Colonel was supposed to be was scripted to appear there. Oh, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to complain if he doesn't turn up, right? To bother me. It was all working fine last time, so maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe it's bugged. There might be an update to the mission yet, I don't know. There's certainly, there's a memory leak in one of the scripts that they've identified that they've got planning to fix. They haven't fixed yet. Um, but apparently, if you're loading the game, every time you reload the game, it fixes, it, you know, it cleans itself up. Oh, there he is. Oh, he must have stepped on the gas mine that was there. Um, do I need to go in there yet? I don't, I don't remember what's in there. It's not, the green valve is not in there, so... We well, can come back. I, obviously I want to go in there sometime because there's loot, but... I kind of don't want to be bothered with friend colonel just yet. Hello, huh? What's that room and how can I open that from here? Reach through, I guess. Right, character's quarters. All oh, right, let's try again. So I need to go through the other side. This is the other side, I think, which has the the valve. Right, that sound effect. That yeah, that's oh, that's not good. It's, This guy who is going to get a fire arrow. No, he's not going to miss the fire arrow. He's going to get one in the back. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, there's some way. I'm sure there's some way to deal with friend Colonel as well for good. I can't remember what it is. Like, not that I discovered it. There was various things I th kind of had thought. No, I won't do it. I'll do it in his back so he doesn't see me and start shooting at me. I don't miss this type of hat. Good. I wonder, can I break you guys up as well? No, oh, you're kind of non solid. Um, Colonel felt underused, like, uh, here's what I need, screen thing. So I turn that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're upset. Oh, don't How dare thee! I think, honestly, I have underestimated thee too much. But now, it's over. This time. Thou shalt not escape. I don't want to waste that stuff. See, this is this is the kind of quick load, quick save that I don't do in my normal streams because. Uh, Wait, what? Four? That's not right. That's rather wasteful.
Uh, if I had more mines, I could go to the armory and get some, I suppose. So this actually gets me into Karish's place, but I don't think I want to go there just yet. Do I? Don't think I do. And now we are here, face to face, as we were that eve at Soulforge. Look at thyself, slim, weak, and tired, for I am fit, strong, and bright. This door shall never be forced. Besides, this room is secured by a whole army of children. To block thy way, if thou wouldst manage to pass by an unpromising opportunity. I could get rid of thee with my own mace, but I am not the one to judge. There are others who fit more the task. Yep, he taunts you and wakes up those two bots, which is not good. Oops, wrong save. So, yeah, um, I don't want to go in there yet, because I don't think you can get out safely. I mean, maybe I can disable these first and see if he has anything to say about that. For I am fit, strong, and bright. This door shall never be forced. Besides, this room is secured by a whole army of children. To block thy way, <coughs> if thou wouldst manage to pass by an unpromising opportunity. I could get rid of thee with my own mace, but I am not the one to judge. There are others who fit more the task. These two, you mean? Ow! Okay, so despite them saying error fails to understand and making shutdown noise, they didn't actually shut down. Alright, uh... So yes, let's not go in there. It seems, it seems a bad idea to go in there. Like... Like, I won't get out. Is there anything down under the stairs? No. Karish never leaves stuff under the stairs. Far too neat. Um. Okay, I should go back to the break room, security room. So now that you notice this green glowy pipe is no longer glowy, right? I think. I think maybe that is the one that is supposed to... Oh, all these noises I'm hearing are all the guys, angels down on the floor below, of course. Um... Those pipes are the network, right? So that green one is the one that connects the carriage to the crystal. Um... And I'm not sure, but maybe it's also the one that connects to the break room? If it's the one that connects to the break room security room, then it is possible to turn all the cameras off permanently. Even though it says, you know, he resets it after five minutes. When I watched Fen... When I watched Fen's playthrough... Um, he did turn all the cameras off, and it seemed to take permanent effect. So I'm not really sure whether that's a result of the pipe. So the red pipes are coming in here, right? And, but there's a green pipe in here. Ah, Wrong button. 4934, switch it off. Just switch them all off. I want to get to the start. All right. So they're all off. 
Do any of these guys have anything on them? I don't think so. So the green pipe here is glowing, right? On Karis' side it's not, so it may be disconnected, so that may turn all the cameras off for good, I hope. Funny that the red pipes are on that side, so, uh... Maybe the cameras are off for good? It'd be nice if they are, because it'll make getting around a lot less painful. I think Friend Colonel has despawned from here, which will be nice. Is that a reskin pipe? I don't remember seeing the pipes originally. It's a reskin version, would be nice. Oops, it's noisy. Oh, that's the conference room down there. Uh, did I read this? No, I don't think I did last time. What is a builder's house? For the builder's coming, Karis the Wise hath secretly prepared the path to build his paradise, a world with neither sin nor forest. It's a strange. It's neither sin nor forest. These places are essential to his success, so Karis the Brave hath searched for the best elements and commanders and asked them to prepare a life cut off from the outside world with nothing but research and construction to transform the emptiness and rust into a world made from gold and metal. Soulforge was the place to reset the world with nothing. His houses are the places of the future. There are six of them hidden around the world, and each has their purpose for the builder's city. The forge, to build the machines of construction. And yet... Oh, to build the machines of construction. Okay, we've got... We've got a factory here producing machines of destruction, not construction. The mine, to extract the best resources and convert as much dust as possible into refined iron. The archives, to gather all the knowledge from the precursor civilization. But then here you've got a big library and a big museum. The armory, to defend the builder's paradise from unwanted heretics or dangerous errors. And yet this room has... this place has an armory, confusingly named, but also this one builds this place here, the factory here is building builders' children, right? The cradle to build the people of the builders' paradise and populate the world, which seems to happen here as well. And the brain, which is which is the builders' paradise in which Karas will live, where all the decision blueprints will be taken, tested and approved before being sent to the other houses. It sounds like this is talking about, yeah, hidden around the world, right? This isn't six parts of this facility. This feels like this is six different facilities, but they seem kind of redundant with this one. Again, a little a little confusing. Oh, shh. God. Cleaner bot. Freak me out for a minute, but it's only a cleaner bot. Museum special theme key. Alright, we need that later. Uh, oh, this is the library. Okay. Cool. Take that. Purified water crystal, element of water, okay. More corrosion stuff, good. Corrosive water. Another water arrow, so we've got 20. This is probably one of the most generous missions with both healing potions and water arrows of all time. Uh, they've definitely given enough equipment to um what was I gonna say supplied enough equipment to play very destructively all right I'm just gonna make another save here I need to pop out uh, of the room for a minute so I'll be back in, back in five minutes
less than five minutes. Uh, right. Now, sometimes the bot is on the bottom floor, so I don't want him to meet him right away. I want to surprise him. Oh, that was the top floor. Okay. Oh, phew. That was kind of lucky. Are these metal stairs? See the other rooms and turn. I'm having trouble with the doors. I'm just ready for him to come back because I want to knock him on the head because uh, it seems the easiest way to deal with him to get him out of the way but I thought he would come back soon. I was not really planning on waiting for time. Now here he comes. I wonder if anyone else clanking around up there if I spooked him. if he's now just getting stuck on the door. Maybe he's walking around up there, I don't know. I'm getting impatient, Mr. Bot, hurry up. What happens if I knock this one on the head? It goes clang. What a surprise. Um, okay. Come on. Oh shit. No, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. Uh What? Oh shit. Did I just save then? It was trying to uh, lean forward and must have hit alt S to alt W. That's a bad place to save. All right. Uh a good thing I'm keeping other saves then. Even if it's a while back. Oh, it's just here. Okay. All right, well, uh, let's just collect what I can from here. So this guy says, oh, so this talks about how to destroy the factory, right? So. Two things enough. Power shortage by turning on turning on lights. Seems like I don't know how many lights you need to turn on, but maybe I should try that this time. Incorrect or by putting metal, like a bit of the combat bot, into the thing. Overheating we've done already. So I wonder if I maybe this time I should try turning on lights and see if I hear a sound effect when I turn too many on. Ugh, that's too noisy. Is there anything here in these shelves? I don't know. More importantly, if this bot comes back, I want to surprise him, but I um, don't want to wait. It just makes me impatient. I guess I shall wait. Garrett just, you know, hums himself. 
There's lots of upper shelves and no real access to them, which is interesting. No ladders. Is that him coming or is that him? No, he's not coming in here yet. Dum dum dum. Well, I have to overwrite my quick save because it was in a bad position. And this time. I don't think I've ever done that before. I accidentally hit save while trying to lean forward. I wonder why. I mean, it's easy enough to do. Alt W and Alt S are like dangerously close, right? But, uh. Uh, probably because it's like Alt Shift W originally, and the Golden was used to doing that. Maybe I don't know. And then I always change it to Alt W. I don't, know. I don't know. Oh hello! You're the bad one. Right, you're just going to do this, sit here, and stare at me, aren't you? Unless you can find something to throw away. Uh, this could be bad. Although, this could be a good time to experiment. Haha! was unexpected, but I guess it works. Kind of bugged out when he got on the left there. Friendly Colonel can... go Kern himself. Um, Apple, sure. Book. Uh, did I read this? Any trespasser shall be eliminated and his corpse ground up so as to waste less gas. I don't know if it must have read that last time. What was that one? Um, yes, I definitely saw that one. So this is the library middle floor connects to this vaguely library ish feeling room. Vaguely. Stack of books. Nothing. Nothing of interest in here. Computers. So like. Oops. See. Okay. The camera's off. But I don't remember how long ago the camera save was. In game terms. Where is this now? Was a combat bot? Is this the ores, real ore storage? This is the opposite side from the factory, right? So what is this? This is the southern end. Where is? Where are we? Uh, northern end. No, I don't. Know. Uh, oh, this is above the fixing room or above the barracks? Extraction section is the southern end, I guess. Oh, this is the way to the break room. Right, so this is kind of where I first came in. And if I go out there, it connects to... the bridge. There's a message in that. The light's on. I have 20 hours, I can afford to spend a couple on this guy. I do need to go back to the bottom floor of the library, but I forget why, but... His word is error, error, fails to understand the creation. Alright. So have I been down there then? Okay, so that's... Okay, yeah, I have been down there. That's where the armory key was that I failed to find entirely on my first playthrough. 
This message, friend Amos, the project security room. Ah, oh, yeah, bring the armory key with thee. We will try our chance in the sewers, join us with our cast, but never mind the resistance we lost his over. And this way gets us to the extraction section. Oh. Wait, do I have a key for this? This is not the armory key, not that one. Factory key. Okay, so I do have a key. There is somebody that wanders up and down this way. At least one somebody. So I need to be a little bit careful. Oh. We'll do that. Only two left. That's not so good. I thought I had five of them. I remember using two. I guess, no, I guess that's the third one, yeah. Um, I need to be careful with them because I need to use them for the bigger bots, I guess. guys in here too, right? Oh, well, there's an engineer and a camera up here. If I remember the call. But if the engineer doesn't look much doesn't look in my direction and the camera is switched off then that's okay we'll take your flare oh there's perhaps a place that where uh, Colonel also spawns I don't remember these look tempting to climb right like they've been set up here especially to be climbed oh there's a there's a way through there as well what happens if I jump over here? No, not like that. Uh, like uh, this. I mean, I can get over into this machinery. Is there a purpose to doing so? It's a good place to leave him, for sure. Maybe alert people on the factory floor below. Like that bot. No vinyl places on the roof here, so. Doesn't feel like this is actually a. a place I'm really supposed to crawl on. Oh, this does give me access to this upper bit of the factory. Look at this giant drill bit rotating and going up and down there. They've done nice work on all these details, but they kind of seem a little bit purposeless. Where does this take me? So the engineer's quarters, okay. Now with the factory key, I can open that door, right? I think. Yeah, all right. So I've been been there before, and oh hello. <sighs> I think I can hear a alert that angel. Oh, way up above the nave here. Cheese. No health. Broadhead. Is that it? Does this also go somewhere? Okay, that just comes out here. 
Right, so I must have found that before. But is there any purpose to being up here apart from that? Any other secrets? Because that wasn't even tagged as a secret. I really like that he just has these big, enormous, like, flames lighting the place up. Ah, oh, there we are, some money. What's that? One carrot. Pick up the, pick up the rope. Arrow. <coughs> ah, whatever. It'll do. Oh, is this our friend Colonel? See, he's less problematic than the angels because he doesn't have ranged weaponry. Alright. We need the, we've got the crystal in here, so we can go deal with that. How did you not see me there? I guess you're pretty blind with that mask on. Is there a dark spot to leave you? Really? Factory key, factory key, factory key. Well, there's a nice dark spot to leave you. Uh, okay. So, extraction section. There's... So there's at least one unfinished angel wandering around here, and I think one finished one, one of the more dangerous ones. Because we saw the unfinished guy from up above, right? just get to the crystal quite easily. Oh, because it just... I don't have the key, right? I forget who has the key to that place. Bollocks. Ah, oh, hello. You deserve a couple of knocks on the head. Why is this not working? Alright, so it's not working. I don't know why. There we are. And this time I managed not to trigger this guy's uh, rust. So he's got the rare ore storage key, which I missed last time, but it didn't need it. You know, actually, actually, I want to see what happens if I don't, if I stand right in the rust gas. I mean, predictable, right? It, sh it should kill me. <laughs> Insta kill, nice. Just reduces me to nothing. Uh, I like it. But uh, I do, I really like these guys still have their little cultivators and rust gas emitters. It's a really nice touch. It's one of my favorite things about the mission design. So there's a lot of stuff in this mission that is just clunky. Uh, vibrating stone is important. Send it to the grinders to make the whole to the lab easier. When they say the grinder, there's at least four different things you can call grinders. Okay. 
let's just watch for it to stay well back. Mm. Turn to rest. Um, yeah, the vibrating rock, which is somewhere, is that, I think in the rare ores room, is... Um, oh, hello, dude. You're not really that spooky, you know. So we could shut that thing down, but I want to try shutting down the factory by turning on all the lights. It seems to be more fun. Alright. Well, I have the rare ore storage room keys, so I might as well go and get the rare ore, right? I guess I probably don't need the key anymore. No, oh, drop the key. Open the doors. Vibrating boulder, right. It's not an inventory item, it's a, you've got to carry it as you walk around kind of item. I wonder if there's anything else in here hiding away. Not really. Now what are those footsteps I'm hearing? That's Karis' room, right? Am I hearing someone in here? Sounds like a servant. Someone that I can just blackjack and knock on to deal with that way. Oh, this is the control room. Or is it not? Oh, that's your I was hearing. Okay. That's the control room. Ah, oh, yeah, we do need to go in here. <laughs> this is where the key I need is. The keys of the chest down below. I've forgotten where it was, but now I remember. Control room key. Do I have the control room key? I think I picked it up. I think I don't need it anymore. Let's just drop it on this carpet. And there's like other parts of this mission. You know, there's a spider bot in there, but you just can totally bypass him just by coming through here. Which is. Feels a bit silly. Actually, I should open that one too, because that's the way to get to where we swap the crystal. Which is no point coming in here until I. Oh, wait, before I have the crystal. But. And we get the crystal here. Is that friend Colonel I'm still hearing? I think it is friend Colonel I'm still hearing down there. Yep, it's friend Colonel. I'm going to bother us again. Oh well, let him... Let him do his thing. Right, that's what I needed. Manager's key is what I need for the uh, crate down below. Oh wait, friend Colonel has just vanished. I know he hasn't. Oh, yes. Actually, you know, let's 
He's seeing me now. What are you doing there? A dance? Look at him doing his weird little dance. Goodbye, friend colonel. What I realized is... There's another way up here. That's one way. There's also this ladder on the side. Which will take me down... Uh, maybe not down far enough. Can I safely drop off this? Oh. Not really. So I say, can I safely drop on this to get to the bottom of the bottom floor of the factory again? Bypassing our lovely friend Colonel. But it seems not. In which case there's probably a better way to get to the factory floor. Oh, hang on, I've got a slow fall. Let's just use a slow fall. Whee! Ah, uh, that wasn't so slow. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try and do it better this time. Yeah, no, it's, uh, the jump is a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't jump. Or maybe I should just try not to die. Trying not to die seems like a good plan, actually. Um, all right, let's go back on the ladder. Once we're on the ladder, we can jump across to this fence. Hopefully. And although that doesn't get me to the factory, right? From here, I can then die, uh, or hopefully not die. If I do that right, I can make that jump and not die. But I have to I have to jump. This la the thing is so thin. This is a, this is you know this is all good, solid thief play, right? There we are. Go too far, of course, I'll fall in the lava, which is also going to make me die. Is there anything up here? Oh, it's nice and quiet. It's like a... Ooh, can't... Get stuck, can't stand. Uh, nothing I need up here, anyway. Alright, so I can safely get off here, right, without taking damage. And then get to the chest. Where's the manager's key? And then Garrett, I mean Karras will somehow know that I'm here opening the chest and start blabbering again. Stop it now, Finn. Stop it, Worst stop it! Yeah. Embezzlement. Does embezzlement Does embezzlement get me more money? While Karis made an entire empire in his name, he will smite <laughs> He didn't even see me walk past him. Oh, you're a problem. Done for nothing. Uh, for the builder's sake, Garrett, forget about thy foolish vengeance and leave before. Quiet, I'm trying to think. Where do we need to go next? There's an angry angel wandering around. Okay, doesn't know I'm here. That's dangerous, hazardous for me, but uh, not deathly. So I do need to go up a floor because I need to get to the control room now that I have the crystal because we have everything we need to reprogram. Now, the question is if we do reprogram. He's gonna find me here, isn't he? Nope! 
Ah, oh, you foolish bot. Okay, control green. So we need to. Well, camera's off, right? And this door is shut, so this is much simpler than what I was doing before trying to get past the thing. Also, and then can't use that one yet. Need to get this one out. Uh, also, now I know what to do. I'm not. I'm not sitting around wondering why nothing seems to be working. Um, when the instructions are kind of unclear. Oh wait, 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 A little bit quiet because there's a bot next door. Because uh, if we're doing only the left lever is what's supposed to make them all neutral towards me, right? At least that's what it says. So the book says. They will be useful to all human built beings. So I'm just going to save here. And let's quick save as well, why not? So this should make all the builder's children useful for me, right? Right? Are you neutral? You don't seem very neutral. You're also very bad at aiming. There you are. So I kind of don't understand why why that's so misleading. I, but anyway, I just can't believe it. Can watch, we can watch Cash die again, just ranting and raving. You told us all. No, I've just doomed you. Did this thou think for a single second about the consequences of thy doing? Yes, of about course. What thou would do next? No, step back, idiots. I am your fear. No! Yeah. And I need to zoom out before I get too disoriented. Right, so the Bill's children are not neutral towards me, but that's okay. I can keep avoiding and destroying them and stuff like that. Alright. Objectives wise, so I haven't shut down the factory, so I need to turn on more lights. Um, I still need to find all these elemental things. Birth, vine, water, fire, storm, stone, and night. So what have I got? Uh, I've got the eye, but that's not one of the elements. So this has got the water element. And that's it. The others are all scattered around in various places. Okay. Right, control room is done. Uh, so I do need to go back to the museum to get the knight. That's what the mask was all about. Wait, what's this vent here for? You couldn't put a vine arrow in it because the ledge will stop it. It's very strange. Um and unnecessarily kind of reducing mobility in the map, which is unfortunate. What else do I need to do? So, I guess I can come down here. Quietly, I don't want to wake up and bring that angel back. Because that's just annoying. Uh, rare ores, right. So I need to put this through the grinder. Now there's grinders in there. 
which are dealing with ore processing, right? But they're the wrong grinder. It is the grinder down here, or at the opposite end of this place. Um, which is the one to put this in. So there's also the grinders down in the water, way down below in the basement, but that's not the right grinder either. This is the grinder it's supposed to go in. <laughs> which gives us, I forget which element, but it gives us one of the elements that's, that's on the list there. If we find out where the opposite side of this is. So right, that gets grind, ground up in there. I think the opposite side is down at the bottom of this. How do I get out of, how do I get, out of, get down here again? Oh. oh. Just disappears. Alright, well, we'll do it and get down there. So, we dropped it in there, and underneath here, I think if we just drop down here, we can get to the underneath section. Maybe. Yes. Vibrating dust is the stone element, somehow, okay. And I haven't actually explored in this little map yet. Which... Was there anything to collect? I'm probably not going to worry too much about the complete loot goal because, uh, you know, loot is... kinda... overrated. Also, hard to find. And this place is big. I mean, maybe if I shut down all the children, then... Like we were thinking... Okay, so there's another secret in here, if I recall. Which we get to from up above. How do we get up there? We jump from the middle section here. Yeah, okay, so carefully here. Oh, okay. Or less carefully. Is that it? Three water arrows? I'm sure there was something here marked as a secret. Oh, there's the uh, crow supporter down here. Yeah. No? Yes, three crow supporter. But it hasn't said found secret, has it? Or did I miss it? Stats, five out of nine, okay. I guess it might have, and I just missed it. Because it didn't go ding. It didn't make the normal ding ding. Let's just double check. If I load that one and go to the end, that we were on four. Yeah, okay, so it did the trigger. Okay, then. It's five out of nine. I don't know where the other four are. I think that is all the secrets that I actually found. Well, plus one. Um, last time I played. Alright, so objectives. We need to go to head character's quarters now, make sure he's been defeated. We need to finish shutting down the factory, but we need to find all these things. Night is in the museum. I've got stone. I don't know where fire, storm, and vine, and birth are, but water. Um, I haven't been to the dining room and workers' quarters and stuff at all. Or the fixing room, actually. I should go to the fixing room. And the warehouse. Because it's nearby. You always get stuck there for a little cleaning, but should have put the waypoints a little more carefully. Okay, here's another dead guy. You know, thankfully they clean up after themselves. So he didn't have anything for me, I don't think. Just, just rust. 
I seem to remember there was a Bombat Bot. One of these holes. Oh, there's him. Did he actually see me? Richard Intruder. So bring the one out. And QA rejected. I love doing this, it's fun. Boom. <laughs> Alright, there's no point to it, but it's fun. Uh was there anything up here? I think not. Oh, this generator extraction, so I think there's something I need here in expert, but that it was nothing at all in hard. It was just, well, there's was a gas arrow in there or something. Factory key? Factory key, maybe? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, I have been here, okay. Cool. It's just upper floor. I don't know why I seem to remember a combat bot in the other room, but okay. Factory key? Nope. Can pick this one. Now, there's at least a gas arrow, but I'm pretty sure there's extra stuff in here that I need this time around. That one of the elements is in here. Come on, cat. Don't die while you're picking a lock, it would be most be very poor form. Alright, go out, get your get your breath back. It's like you leave the door open and it doesn't matter, the gas stays in the room. It's nice use of the same water breathing mechanic with a different uh, twist, I guess, that's coming out as heat. How many. How complex is that lock? This doesn't make for a fun puzzle, it makes for a tedious puzzle, but whatever. At least. Uh, it's not the worst lock I've ever had to pick. The worst lock I've ever had to pick was in King's Story. There's a lock on the gate which is like behaves. In a different fashion, it's like these multiple stages have to be done in the right order or it resets and there's no visual feedback or any very poor sound feedback. Raw energy canister, storm. Okay, so there's a storm element we need. Uh, it's been remade from a one of those numeric dials but with a different animation. Cool, alright. So let's get the other loot that was in here. Gas arrow there. Oh, fire arrow rather. Uh, I don't remember anything else. Oh, there's gas over there. That's right. Okay. That might be it. Wow, I'm getting some lag here. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. It's possible to climb in there, which is silly. And unnecessary. Now let's wait for this to finish. Okay, so we've got Storm. Uh, what do we need now? 
Night is in the museum. <laughs> Night in the museum. Oh god, that's a terrible, terrible reference to there. We've got stone, storm, I don't have fire. I don't have vine or birth. So four of them we need still, and I don't know where I don't know where any of those are in fact. But Oh, I do know where one of them is. Where Vine is, it's right here. This poor... Poor bot that's supposed to do something with it. Nymph seed, Vine, okay. That's what we're supposed to do with it. I would never have guessed that. Watering it would make it grow. I mean, see, they never cease to grow. I don't want it to burst when I try. Enough water might gather to spread its seeds. Okay, yeah, fine. There is a hint there. It tells me how to do that. All right, and here we have the back way to the crane, which I don't need. Anything else in here? Uh, so this is a fixing section, that's the warehouse, then... Are we done down here, then? I guess we might be done down here. Although, if I want to get to the museum... As you say, that isn't the quickest way, but I don't remember what the quickest way is. Uh, good time to save though. So a whole bunch more secrets still. Which I don't know where to even begin looking for. Um, that's the nave, so we want to come back to the nave. I want to deal with this guy as well, just because he's... I don't want to waste water arrow. I've got tons of them, but I don't want to waste any. Because I don't know whether I need some for angels. Oh shit. Uh, wrong save. The problem with maintaining two saves is I forget that quick save is not always the latest one. Alright, it's off to the nave again. Can I clean a bot? Can I clean a bot? This time, Garrett, do not miss. Good. I mean, he's probably not a problem. Okay, this armory. I've got the armory key. Let's go to the armory. Wait, where does this take me? I haven't actually been here, have I? Oh, this is where the uh, the bots go and lift there to the nave. And somebody in their way. I guess it just comes to that. Yeah. The QA. I think that's not needed. Might as well leave it open, why not? This vent, which is one of the most, you know, convenient for burglars vents without any other purpose in, in that I've ever been in, but, you know, it's fine. This mission is not without lots of flaws, but... Quiet. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, he'll calm down. Armory keys. I've never been in here. Where is the armory key? Naps about. Fire element. Okay. Cool. I 
explosive charge. Gas arrow. Oh, a whole, a whole pile of uh, fire arrows. Gas mines. Three gas mines, actually. Anything else on these top shelves? I can't see, but there's a bunch of mines here that I missed. Alright, that looks like uh, everything from here, but now we have eight fire arrows, we have one flash mine uh, for the fire element. The elements, unfortunately, are not sorted together, which is a bit of polish it should have had. One starburst device, or whatever it's called. Five cores of water, and four mines and three gas mines. Well, the gas mines should work on the angels, apparently. Yeah, we need a light, right? We're trying to overwhelm the factory with lights. As far as I know, there was nothing in these that was relevant except a bit of loot and a cucumber. <laughs> Cucumbers are always relevant. <laughs> I guess we need to keep. Oh, who's reading Forbidden Hammer literature? Naughty, naughty. No wonder Karis murdered you all. You know, you're all. Reading, reading that. I don't know, bordering on pornogra pornographic, right? It's like got pictures of hammers, not proper mechanist maces. Terrible. Um, oh, hello, I'll take you. Ten healing potions, of which I've used none yet. Just the food, and there's more food too. And that's good. Okay. Now is that pot? Searching or is it just standing and rotating? It's unclear to me. It doesn't sound like it's still walking around searching. So let's just be a little quiet. Come back through there. What's... Oh, hello. He is just standing. Alright. Bot is down. Means it's safer for me to wander around in here now. Just nice. So this goes to the target practice. And there's a key in here. That's right, there's a key to somebody's personal chest. Don't think there's anything else in here, right? Just the switches to fire off the other things. Ah, oh, this case was good. This is a free broadhead supply. If you want to wait and, you know, if you've got a use for lots of broadheads, which I really don't know what you'd use any broadheads for on this entire mission. Uh, oh, another one? I guess. Okay, that's that floor of the armory. This is...
Back to the nave. All right. Uh, which means I guess I can go down to the dining room and stuff. And this is the way out, right? There's nothing here, I kind of think. <laughs> Except the uh, shower. Oh, hello. Surprised I can actually get in here. I wouldn't want that size. Was there really nothing in there? Oh, I can actually fit in there just. But I can't crouch or anything. Hiding place, I guess. Alright, so I haven't been to the dining room yet. If I remember correctly, there was another one of those incomplete angels patrolling here. As well as Mr. Colonel from time to time. And we have... Gas. I don't think there's anything on this ledge, but I can't remember for sure. Yeah, nothing. Could get on top of that, but I don't see any reason to. Which side was the kitchen? That's the workers' quarters. We'll go in there in a minute. Right, kitchen has some important stuff. Ah, this there's the cold room. We're gonna need the key to the cold room at some point. More healing, and here's a bunch of food. And a compact powder cake for some reason. Stored alongside the food, but you know, it's nice. It will, it'll destroy one bot quite happily. Don't think there's anything else up here. Why do I? Why did I think there was a bot patrolling here? Maybe there is. Maybe he comes in from the workers' quarters. Bread. Dear legs, look at all the food. And what is the purpose of this? <sighs> Except that you can. Forty-one thirty. You're actually getting quite close to the loot hole. Uh, surprisingly, considering I've not really been overly bothered. Now, who had the cold room key? I don't think... I don't think uh, I have found them. Oh, I know. I, hmm, I don't remember where they are. I know who they are. Okay, maybe they're in here? If we're doing our thing of turning all the lights on, I guess when we turn enough... Is it on or off? I guess when we turn enough lights on, we'll hear some sound effect or see the objectives marked off. Don't know. Uh, yeah. I have joined Arena's forces, taken all the food from the cold chamber. I don't know. Somebody was take, was moving stuff in the cold chamber, and they they you can find their body somewhere and the cold room key with it. Right, that's a message from the arena. Hello. Well, I think you're going to get two bots on the head. So he's the one, I guess, that was wondering, but for some reason he was stuck here. Always. Oh, Lost key, where's the last key? Front beast eggs. Nothing in there. 
Can I read these? Yeah, that's the one about the lost key. Give me the hint to where it was. Which I remember from last time. And in here. Anything on top of the mantelpiece? Oh look, someone's drawn a face in this one too. Lots of defacement of Karis's portraits going on. He did not hire the most um, loyal of people. But I suppose, I suppose they probably started off loyal enough and then you know, once he started killing them all, some of them kind of changed their mind. That's not unreasonable. Uh, glowing egg. Sort of a bark egg. The shell is incredibly thick and solid. It's really high heat. Uh, now it's placed in the cold chamber, so I need that. Okay, that's, I guess, it's an egg. It must be the birth. Although, you know, birth is not the same as eggs. And, uh, well, I guess it all depends on how you look at it. So you didn't have anything I needed, right? So that's... I need to come back there for the cold chamber, but for now, that's all I can do there. Off to the museum! For the night in the museum. Um... Wait, where does this go? It's back to the engineer's quarters. That's not where I need to go. Where, how do I get to where I need to be? How do I get further upstairs? I suppose up the ladders. But surely there's another... There's another way. Oh, yeah, the engineer's quarters actually gets us there. It, no, it doesn't. It connects to the wrong side of the collapsed stairwell, right? There is another way to get to this other side of the stairwell, but I've forgotten what it is. I guess we just go the long way. I guess I could climb up the ladder in the dining room as well. Which might be better than this way, but I'm here now. Now, another thing... I saw in the forum, I saw some people talking about a projection room that you can get into. I don't know which room they're talking about. Right, so this is kind of a long way around. Have we done what I need to up here? Yeah, this is just this is just where we got the eye from. I don't think there's anything else. Um, and this takes us to the lab and back around to the other side. We'll probably meet friend Colonel here because this. He's got a spawn trigger here somewhere. He's also got his quarters there, but I guess, you know, that's picture of him, I guess. is where he was born, but I don't think there's any way of getting in there. Although, oh, there is a, there is a top. Maybe there is a way of getting in there, hang on. Do some crate stacking, except I don't have any crates. That need not be a problem. I have this big metal equivalent of a crate labeled corpse. Actually, I don't know if you can stand on these properly, because. But I think it's a separate item rather than uh, AI anymore. I think it's just called corpse. Oh, I don't even need that. There's a bloody. Look at that. Convenient vent. Right, I did not go here last time. Interesting. Oh, this whole door. It's kind of a secret, is it? Picture of Karis. Fire arrow. Oh, somebody dead. I want your 
money. Invisibility potion. Another violet, fire arrow, more water, moss, fine. Neat. Okay, do these open? Nope, but we've got one more of the secrets, okay. down there already. Oh yeah, he would trigger. Come on, let me get this. Thank you. I know you just gave me another, but I don't want to give him up. And then he vanishes because there's a trigger there. It's probably the uh, the worst of the triggers, that one. In terms of most visible. Alright, there's a museum through here. So he can spawn in the museum too. Which he just has done. Do I care? Only when I'm fumbling for the key. There's the night element. Okay. Night, stone, storm, fire, water, vine. I think we've got them all except birth now, which is in the cold room. Only. Oh, we've got six secrets, right? And we've got most of the elements. I don't remember where the guy with the cauldron key is. Well, I think he's stuck there now. He climbs up there and gets stuck. That's right, he'll come back. He will, he will re-trigger. Uh, okay. This is just the storage room, right? Nothing else. Or it's the way down to the dining room. Um, where haven't I been lately? Ah, oh dear, I don't remember. Key to the cold room. It's the way to the lab. Let's go here, let's take the ladder down. of course. It's an easy one to die on. If you go... If you get it wrong, you just land on top of it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. If you go too fast, you need to go through kind of slowly so you end up on the side of it. Otherwise you fall off and die. I like this mission has so many problems. Mostly polished, there's a few, there's a bunch of editing that needs to be done, there's a bunch of things that suggest objectives and clues that aren't actually a thing. Um, and there's a whole bunch of movement stuff, like, you know, it's got a ton of problems, and none of that, you know, in the end, didn't matter enough, it still was far and away my favourite mission of the entire contest. Oh, hello. I haven't been up here. This isn't where the cold room key is, but this is where... See, I thought this was another objective as well, because there's this talk about... Um, press the button, character set to release holy water from the audience. As far as I know, that doesn't happen. 
Well, this, that's the button, I suppose, maybe. But I'll take that. 4380. Getting close. Uh, maybe the projection room is off, off here. Mantle guard, don't bounce. I wonder if we can get up there. Where is my scouting orb? Among all the other millions of things I'm killing. No, 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 no. I wanted it to go up on the ledge, not bounce off the ledge. There's definitely a ledge there. Just want to see if there's anything up there. I was hitting a statue too. Uh, although maybe we were up there, but there was definitely a ledge that we were at in the nave, right? Oh, that's the ledge we were at up there. I can see the door is open. So this ledge up here. Probably nothing but a ledge. Probably empty, right? Yeah, empty. So nothing up there for us. How about the other side? I mean, if there was something, there'd surely be a way to get a vine up there, right? You'd hope that if there was a secret, there'd be some way to access it. But not necessarily. Nope. Didn't make it. Almost. Not sure why I managed to get the other one first try and this one was taking me longer, but maybe it's because Garrett's right handed so it's first. That's what I think. Nope. Still nope. Come on, Garrett. Surely you can toss something further than that. <laughs> he almost gets it there, but just. Okay. Alright, up there. But it's all for naught, there was nothing up there. Okay. Where, 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 where was the guy with the cold room key? He was a guy that had been killed somewhere when he was moving stuff around. I feel almost certain that we've actually um, seen his body, maybe? But neglected the key? No. I feel like the key was not hidden. Um, let's check the engineer's quarters again, which is through the dining room, or through that door that doesn't open on the side. It suddenly seems like the, the camera's off for good, which is good. Uh, this is the workers' quarters, where was the engineer's quarters? Was it accessible from here? No. Why did I think it was? Okay. Never mind. It is accessible from up the top, so we'll go up the top again. Oh, we'll get stuck in the ladder. Um, I guess we'll go up the top this way. This way. This way? I think it's this way. Yes, it's through here. Okay. 
Um... Engineer's quarters, right. So, I... Okay, and that's the way back up to the top floor. Why do I feel like this is not the right room? Why is this connected? Extraction section. Hello, where did you come from? He wasn't there last time we came here, but never mind. He need not bother us if we don't bother him. It's a little confusing that the engineer's quarters directly connects. Oh, I guess it does, yeah, I guess that's shown on the map. For some reason in my head, the Extraction section was all around here. Um, why can't I remember where this cold room guy was? It was a body in a room, but it was like a. It wasn't any of these. Maybe it's the library? Did I search all of the library? Wait, this is the this is that's the extraction section, right? Where's the library? Uh not marked. Well wasn't the West Wing. Library's just not marked at all. I don't even remember how to get there. Connectivity on this place is a little confusing. Again, another thing that's slightly annoying about the map. I mean, it's good in a way. Something appropriate. But it would be better, it'd feel better if more of it seemed like it connected and was just blocked off by collapsed stuff, like there's doors to the nave and stuff. Um, so it wasn't off the dining room, because that would be too easy. I just think it must be on the upper areas of the factory sections or stuff. What's this? That's the barracks. He wasn't in the barracks, as far as I recall. I did search everywhere in the barracks, right? Pretty sure. It goes to the actual... Rooms, that's the armory. And that's the target range, so we never went in. So then. Hey, okay, anything up there? No, but if you wanted to hide a secret room, that would be a really good place to do it. Um. Okay, this way is to the factory. Go to that lower floor, into Karis's chamber, but I think there's nothing but turrets and evil children there waiting for us. Um, let's try upstairs here, if I can remember how to get up. There's no way up there, no way up here. Oh, right, yes, this, you only get, uh, the only way up there is via Karis' big chamber, which is uh, unfortunately more off from the other side. Once you've unlocked a few doors. Because I didn't find it last time for ages, and that's why I spent a long time wandering around, wondering how to get up the top there. What? More combat bots, whatever. Huh. 
You want to be careful then. So we come up the stairs here. Yeah, look, where did he come from? I guess maybe he's the same one we saw wandering the uh, extraction section now, and he just does a very long patrol route and we missed him. But I think I want to go that way. I think it's like the council room and stuff I haven't used here. Oh wait, I haven't come here, right? Oh ho! Nice. Now a window you can get out of, but not get in by. So that would allow you to sequence break. Where does this pop patrol? What do you mean? That's a very long patrol route. What does this do? I don't know, but I don't know where the box going. Um, that's down to the generator room. Where's the library? Uh, I don't know, but here's a room I've not been in. Turn lights on. Remember, note to self, I'm still trying to turn all the lights on for the factory objective. Well. Okay, that's the council room, which I have not been in yet, and then that means the library's over that way. So there's the bot that wanders in here, and I have not looted this room. But it's noisy. If I remember, it's a noisy floor, and I don't want to walk on a noisy floor while there's a combat bot hanging about. Wait, there's a light in the council room too, right? It's still not enough to shut down the factory. This is the library. Strange sudden bits of stone, but... Huh. Here goes the library top floor. Don't know where the library top floor connects. Vases. He's above the council room. Did I search that room now? <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Alright, this connects to the break room. Oh god, the connectivity of this place confuses me, but uh, it's fine. It's just. In my head, it's all connected differently than the way it actually is. So it's that's really the only problem. Which is not technically a problem. It's a problem with my head rather than the map, but, you know. Uh, this is just the dark room. There was nothing else here. Bottom floor is the library connects to the council room, so I can go loot the council room. I wonder if there's a secret hidden in the lift shaft and you have to jam the door or something. Probably not, it would be a little extreme, is that, is that lootable? No. Yeah, well, let's hope that bot isn't, no, it's not that noisy floor. Well, maybe I did loot this place and maybe there was nothing to loot. Scattered papers everywhere. Very strange meeting room, really. What's that you got on your desk? 
Oh, just the usual speakers and whatnot. Okay, we've not been in this room. Flash bombs, fire arrows. Okay, maybe this is the room I was thinking of. With Mr. Cold Room storage. Yes. Yes, Cold Room key. Okay. Uh, right, which way, which is the best way to get to the kitchen then? Think back this way, get back to the nave. Yeah. Um, this is the way to the bridge, right? I hear him again, just don't know where he is. Ah, oh, he's probably just got a really long patrol route. Um, dining room. It's on the floor below. Uh, Wandering around in here. Yeah, well, how long is that patrol route? I don't suppose it matters. Cold room key, cold room key. Where's the switch? Ah, oh, that's the door for the cold room key. Is there a light switch in here, by the way? Definitely lights that can turn on, or that should be able to turn on. Okay. And it's cold in here. And we have a time limit. Egg of chaos, birth element. All right, that's all the elements. So how do we, how do we do the ritual? Or maybe we can't. Oh, I don't need to. This anti jam is uh, warm enough. Especially if we're missing anything else in here. Apart from some lag. Doesn't look like it. Alright, we need to get back to Karis's place then to. Uh, uh, see that he's dead, right? And finish shutting down the factory. I think this whole turn all the lights on seems too vague and uncertain a way of doing this because it's like, how do you know where all the lights are? Are there any lights in this section that I haven't turned on? I don't think so. Um, Any lights in the engineer's quarters I could turn on? Let's let's go through and turn on lights. I can I know I can easily shut down the factory with a combat bot body like this one. Uh, but perhaps some light switches in this section that I can turn on as well, like that one. Maybe some of these side rooms. 
Uh, and there's another light switch. This one doesn't have a light switch. This one, the lights are already on anyway. Okay. Uh, where am I going now? Carousel's chambers is off the factory. Um, how do we get back to the factory? I don't remember. Go to the main room, go to the nave, and then we get to the factory from the nave. In fact, if I want a combat pop body to take to the factory, you'll have to close this one, right? So the stairs, the stairs in the extraction section, which we can use to easily get to upper level of Karnas' chamber, or the actual back way into his chamber. So that's where I'll go. I'll just leave this in the dark here, so we can grab it later if if I can't find enough light switches, which is already seeming to be probably the case. Hello, I can hear that guy. <laughs> You're right, I shall not escape. Okay. So that's where he is. Uh, how... I don't know where it was coming from. But I guess I should be careful. Yeah, there he is. So what path does he take? Too much waste! I have plenty of these to spare. What a terrible concept. More waste. Alright, let's wait for him in a more auspicious spot. What do you know? He's given us a, uh, a body even closer, right? If we need it in the extraction section. But I want to go up to Karish's place first, which is the top floor. And. Oh wait, was it the top floor? No, it was the floor below. I'm confused, why did I think it was the top floor? I mean, it makes sense that it's the top floor, that he's placed on the top, but I think it's... This way? Oh, the chamber. Yeah, here we are. So this is the one we didn't want to go up to before, but if we go there now... The door has been blown open. Karish is nowhere to be seen. That's where we saw him get attacked. He ran off this direction. But 
but he is not here. He's the one who left us some cheese. And a healing potion and some bread. Not even any good wine. And he has this door that's not a door. Then, confusingly, there is this upper chamber, which is... I'm not the only one to have missed it a few times. Another combat bot. So he shut them all down, which is nice of him. And uh, then he has something to say here, which I don't remember what it is. Is... is that thee? Thou... thou flies like a... a bow of brass. Pretty. <coughs> I would have liked to save them, but nature has always taken them away from me. Why are we so weak? Uh, all right, child of Karis. Oops. Well, you can you can say yeah. your piece again. Is that thee? Thou, thou flies like a, a bow of brass. I don't know if this is what he's saying there. Thou bites like a I bow of brass. I to save them, but nature has always taken them away from me. Why are we? So weak. Carriage dealt with. We haven't shut down the factory. We can't find enough lights to turn on, so I might as well just go put the bot's buddy back in there because it's going to be quicker. And then I think I've finished the mission, although, secrets wise, I think we're still missing a ton of secrets. How many? Secrets wise, still missing three. I might have to look them up just for curiosity's sake because. Um, I kind of don't want to. I like discovering them, but I really don't know where to, where to look anymore. I feel like I've seen almost everything there is, unless there's some hidden in the in his grand chamber. How many? Fire... I've got eleven fire arrows. That is enough to destroy all the turrets and a bunch of the horrible beasties down here. Right. Wait. Oh shit, so they're gonna take two each. I thought they should only take one each. I hit something else in the way. Um Wait, why are half of them dead down there? Wait, wait, are they all dead? Can I stand on this? Oh, I can. Maybe corrosive water is actually going to be better for the turrets. Let's try some corrosive water. Not the master barrel. Hey, corrosive water, where are you hiding? Oh look, that's animated in my inventory too. Well, wow. Ego Chaos. There. Oh yeah, look at that. Oops, missed. Alright, that's actually better. That's You can do that much more safely. Uh, and if all those angels down there are dead... Then... Oh god, I've forgotten the way in there. Oh no, it's just up here. Then maybe I can just go to that bottom floor? It's dark enough, I think the turrets won't see me, right? And then I can look to see if there's any... Maybe there's some secrets in here? Well, it's worth... going down to see, I guess. Uh, maybe it's not dark enough. <laughs> K 
Garrett, stop bouncing. Okay, he's there, just being around. They've still got their eyes on, but they seem to... Wait, how come I can't shut you down? Reload, I wasted a bunch of those. Um, let's do it from up above. Climb across that thing again. Like, I should be able to get them all from here, just with good aim. Taking two anyway. Ah, oh, missing. Oh well, I still got nine water arrows left. That was what, seven used? No, that's more. Let's do it again. Hey, I'm allowed to be impatient and reload from badness. Yeah, that was ten used. Come on, Garrett. You can do better than that. Seems only direct hits actually destroy them. Alright, that's good. Turrets are dead. These guys are still making noise, like they're still alive, but they're not moving, so... I'm not quite sure when they were shut down. Maybe it was the, um... The crystal thing... That caused them to shut down. It's a room, and this isn't a room, right? Unless there's secrets hidden in the bookcase, you know, there's the traditional secret button that's disguised as a book uh, on one of the upper shelves that would be a bit mean. Certainly possible, right? <laughs> you know, this could be a door that opens secretly, but it's not a door. Uh, it's going to take the lift down. Like, what's behind these, and is there any way to get there? I mean, it does look like a non-door, right? It doesn't have handles. So I think it's purely decorative. What happens if I jump into the wall of lava? Nothing. Can't. Yeah. I'm gonna have to stop saying my ass is unhappy with this chair. So there's no point in uh, coming down here as far as I know. Oh dear, I'm stuck in the lift, that's bad. And tongue can be cut off. You have no lips or tongue, and soon you will have no body either. Doesn't this work? I thought it did work if you did it enough times. 
You were quite happy to see me before. You let me into this trap, and now... Are you chasing me? He is chasing me. Found for yourself a malfunction. Can't even remember if it's possible to break these ones. Yeah, it is. No, yeah, I'm not with this corpse. Okay, so is there anything hidden under the lift? You know, I can get back up, right? From all the elevators, you could hide an entire dungeon behind. Oh, hello. What's... No, it's just a... Just a... There's a hole. Big enough to get into, but not... Not actually hiding anything. God, it's dark. Where's those flares? Yeah, it's just a... Just a gap. Not, not a secret. Hey, do you guys react to flares? Nope, you don't explode, okay. Oh, well, I guess I can hang out in this room pretty safely now. With the turret stab, there's no particular reason to. So, this whole place is pretty dead. I need to shut, still need to shut down the factory. It's the only objective I haven't done yet. So, you know, turn on more lights. It's a nice concept to have three different ways to achieve the factory shutdown. Of which you need to do two. Hello, what's up there? Oh, okay. Um, nice concept. But in practice, it's really quite frustrating. So it's just not, doesn't seem to be enough in the way of lights to actually do one of them. Or if they are. Maybe it's every single light needs to be turned on and you just can't find most of them. A lot of rooms, you know, are not lit, but don't have light switches. Or are lit and don't have light switches, like that one. Or lit by fire. It's not a door there, is there? Alright, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Well, go hang out in the neighbor again, I guess. Um, let's go preach the gospel of Karas to the assembled masses. <laughs> oh, shall he, the words of Karas, and this button doesn't work. No holy water for you. And I'm going to go look at the forum. And... Um, Oops. See if I can find out what the other secrets are, or find a hint. Hopefully, find a hint to them, but that's not generally the way it works. People just generally list them. Um, because I'm curious now, and I've been in this mission long enough and finished everything. I will kind of just want to find the answer now. If I could find a hint, I'd be happy about. That. Where is it? Builder, Builder. Builder's Paradise. Here we are. Uh, search thread. Secret.
Okay, this uh This is the thing talking someone talking about the projector room, but I don't know what the projector room is. Um People are having trouble finding the last little bits of route. Okay. Okay, staircase with the big sun mask statue and council room. There's two of them. Alright, that's the main staircase. That is... This way? Big staircase. Apparently this staircase has a secret somewhere. I mean... <laughs> these could be secret doors, right? Could in theory be something hidden behind one of these. <laughs> what am I even looking for? I can go up there. I could look on top of that. Let's try it. Let's look on top of that. Well, this this room that seems purposeless yeah, could be having a secret. Well, this doesn't seem to be anything here. I can't switch it off, and I already found that loot. Hello. There's a broom here too that I can just barely see. Alright, go up again. No, Garrett. Don't. Ugh. Right, I mean, you can go up here, but this is what's the point? Except just to give you another way up. Treasure hidden there. One tiny coin, okay. Above the dining room. And that's one of the secrets. That's a that's a total secret. <laughs> I was gonna say something earlier, you know, talking about the secrets, that's seven out of nine. Um saying that uh, you know, I really appreciated the way these secrets are all secret rooms or or hidden places. Um with substantial stuff and not just individual pieces of loot, but no, it's undone that. There's individual pieces of loot. Um, council Chambers apparently has a secret. Okay, where does the, how do I get to the Council Chambers? This is the Engineer's Quarters, right? Uh, this is the Engineer's Quarters. That's the Broken Stair. Um, wait. 
Is that a dead end? And are there two ways in here? Where's this one? Okay, but where's this connect? Uh, this is the extraction section. Okay, well, I can get back to the council chambers from here in a roundabout fashion. But, uh. Um. Now, it's. That previous one there, that coin, I did look up. I didn't. I, some people were saying they were missing a bit of loot and mentioned it. I didn't realize which one actually run the suitcase. The council chambers. I don't know what the secret is. I've just stopped once as soon as someone said the council chambers. I don't have more details yet, so. At least I can feel a little bit of pride in discovery, but, you know, not much, because I looked in the council chambers before and didn't find anything, so, you know, I'm just blind. And what is this? Like, I can turn that off. Which makes this not quite. Doesn't appear to do anything else. But more importantly, I shouldn't turn that off because that's one of the things that's not, you know, not to power down. Is this the council chambers here? Yes. So I looked in here and didn't find a secret, but I probably wasn't looking well enough. Because I was looking for loot rather than looking for secrets, I suppose. Oh, hey, there's a whole upper floor, right? Middle floor. Does is that carpet? Does that take a vine arrow? It does. It is and it does. Okay. It's probably just up there. It's like just notice that this big gear doesn't connect to the actual roof. Which means there could be something glowy hidden here as a secret, you know? Fire arrow. It's another scouting orb. Pro beast egg. Moss arrows. Water arrow. Flash bomb. And gas arrow. And. Hang on. It's very dark here. There is supposed to be something else. There's the painting. I don't know quite why that's become a bit of a in joke, but it has. Hmm. Come on. <coughs> Ouch. Man, I'm pretty ashamed if I have to eat some of these apples. Or bread to get my health back. Okay, so that's gonna be eight of nine, right? Let's just double check. Eight out of nine. Actually, what did I say? Loot? Well, I'm missing 300. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, okay. Let me go back to the forums and... Okay, I see... This is above the library, I think? Middle of the library? Okay, let's go to the library, which was... it connects to here, right? Oh, wait, this room here. So, what is up there? Is there a way to get up there? I don't know, but it looks suspicious, right? And this also looks suspicious. Oh, it turns the light on, and that's shut down the factory. Well, that was, that was useful. I mean, maybe it's just a fancy light. Project a gear over there. Uh, 
<laughs> um, I think, oh, this is what people are calling the projector room, maybe? I don't know. So the other question is, what about up there? Doesn't look like you can get up there, right? At least not in ordinary fashion. <laughs> I can see my feet. Oops. Oh, that didn't work. It just all fell off. Maybe stacking on the object is not the best thing about it. Stack on the floor instead. Scaling up is probably not good stacking material. Can't drop that. This is a very tedious. 14 of these. It's good sticking music, all right. Ah, I don't know. What else? Breath potion. Mines is not good stacking material. Um, keys. Not good stacking material. Dang it, now I gotta start again. I should have been quick saving as I went. Alright, uh, underneath this thing, let's, let's do that again. <laughs> no, I don't understand what she's like. Three speed potions, one slow fall potion, one invisibility potion. You know, it's called a slow fall potion, but it doesn't actually fall slower. 14 health potions. It's almost like they gave them, they gave you all these so that you could cheat. <laughs> Save. Oh, the key was not very good. The breath potion should be okay. Save. The key was a bad idea. The mines are a very bad idea. I don't think I can check those objectives. Frog beast eggs. Compact powder cake might be okay. Ah! Nope, it explodes very easily. Um, oh, how come we've suddenly got a rust gas sound? Maybe it's triggered something. Uh, papyrus? Nope, it does not bounce properly. Almost. I mean, we don't need much more. All these elements we can't drop. Flash bombs we can't drop. Players. <coughs> Ouch. So I wasn't. Why was I not able to get up? Anyway, I think I can get up far enough to see there is nothing up here, which is unfortunate. Except the buzzing sound. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, well, that, along with all the flares, would be a lot, a lot to uh, explore. Um, that's supposed to be a projector screen, I guess, and that's. People talk about the projected room, and I think they mean this in here. <laughs> Possibly this is the main light. You need to, I don't know how many lights you need to turn on. Yeah, enough. Uh, okay, let me look. Let me go back to the farm.
Um, someone's saying they felt like this might be hiding a secret because it's there's an object in there. But there's an object in there. They're not sure what it is. But uh, then someone else is saying, no, they've got all nine secrets already, and that's just red herring. Um, Secrets, secrets, secrets. Actually, I wonder if there's a loot list, if anyone's posted a loot list. Keep a secret, I've got that one. Um... Hmm, here are some pictures of secret places, okay. That might help. Although they got to I'm slowed up by the moderator for posting the screenshots directly in line rather than as links. Uh oh, okay, there's one outside that I haven't been to. One outside I have been to, okay. Yeah, that's all the keeper secret. Lots of screenshots to keep a secret. These just and then the one above the asset pool I have been to and what's this? This is one I haven't been to. No, that is maybe. And I think I have been to this one. Apparently there's a secret outside I haven't been to. So let's try and find oh god, how do I get back outside? I need to find the main staircase. Um, I don't want to go that way. Let's carry to quarters. This way is to the. Let's move back to the nave area. Alright, <laughs> get down here. Kind of awkwardly. Not like anything up here, is there? And let's back to the nave. We go across the dining room and climb the ladders. Is oops, probably the quickest way to get back out to the top, right? Or I could get there from the engineer's court, from the workers' quarters. Engineers. Where did you come from? Is this just like spawning bots, or was he just like on a patrol route that I missed? Uh, dining room ladders. Dining room ladders. Dining room ladders. This is the dining room ladders. Well, wait. No, oh, I have to. I guess I can go through the museum and it'll get me out to the top. <laughs> so yeah, this will work. Hello. That's of interest.
Why is there a pot spot to attach by an arrow there? Maybe that's why this is accessible. Yeah, not can it grab the vine, don't bounce off it. God, it's very hard to see. It's because the sun's going out outside. So what was real? What was it? Gamma enough gamma for me to see before. Boing. Um, is now enough to blind me. Also, I can't see the chat anymore because I foolishly opened the browser window in front of it. Let me fix that. Okay. Not that there's any chat, but you know, if something like that did say something. Ugh. Carrot. It's just a vine arrow, it's not. You have to make a deal out of it. It's just grab. Right? It's just like that. It's that easy. Okay, maybe there's just an alternate way up and down here, I guess. Especially down. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't need that then. Oh, I've already put it there. Well then... Maybe I should try and use it if it's here, right? Oh. So that weird middle bit where Garrett hits something between his knees and his waist, where it's too too low for him to step onto, and uh, too high for him to mantle, too low for him to mantle onto, and too high to step onto. Okay, mind the hole in the floor. Probably gonna get Colonel turning up, right? Oh yeah, that's a question. How do I deal with how do I defeat Colonel? I mean, there is a way to defeat Colonel, right? Maybe. But I don't know what or how. Oh, there he is. I need to show his ugly face again. Uh, not that I need to be bothered. I need to find the way back out to the roof. Which is... Man, it's still cleaning there. I mean, maybe if, maybe if Colonel would just kindly follow me outside. Hey, Colonel. Ah, oh, he wouldn't be able to climb this. <laughs> All right, roof. Secret out here apparently missed, I think. From what the pictures, screenshot I saw was indicating. Although, not sure exactly where. It looks like it's somewhere up above. Oops. All right, you can do that. Uh, it looks like it's out over there. How would one get across there? I mean, you could speed potion and jump, right? I get speed potions. Somewhere, I have speed potions. Wow, so many things here. There we are. Oh. Nope, didn't work. Feels like it should be. Speed version jump before, right? Ouch. Um, maybe I can get across to that and mantle up it. Speed version. Is it sometimes easy to find and sometimes hard to find? This feels wrong. Looks like I'm doing it wrong. 
Maybe I can just climb up where this guy was. Where this guy was not marked as a secret. Maybe. Climbing up here is. Aha. Toolbox. Wait, 50 gears? Wait, what? What was that? Hang on. They added a new thing in here. Next weapon, previous weapon. <laughs> Never use those keys. 50 gears, what? How do I use these? Oh my god. Oh my god. So these are like exploding gas or an explosion. Well, it's not deadly to me. Uh, okay, that's a pretty cool Easter egg. But it's not marked as a secret, right? No. Uh, but that's pretty cool. If only there was, if only there was still some baddies left to uh, use it on. Um, however, this gives me an idea. Look at this. Look at this. It's, you know, where's my slow fall potion? Maybe possible to get down there, maybe with some frog beast jumping, maybe with some slow falls. I'm no, I'm no, I'm no good at frog beast jumping, I don't actually really know how to do it properly. I should just think that's possible. Uh, where's my frog beast egg? Ah! Yeah, not like that. It's like you probably have more experience on a flat surface, but uh, something about. You throw it down before you land on it. And then you land on the AI. Oh. And then you get down safely. Where is he though? Well, when you ask, what's your... What's your broadheads for? It's for the frog beasts. But you can't see. Oh, hey, it's the spot we saw. <laughs> oh, it's spewing out rust gas and convert and got us. Uh, okay, well, getting down there is is possible, but uh, clearly inadvisable. So when I say I don't know how to do frog beast jumping, I guess that's how you just throw it, throw it, not drop it the moment you land. Oh, hey, I've got all these gears, right? Where's all those gears? Can I destroy that bot with the gears? Apparently not. Apparently it goes right through. Can you destroy our frog beast friend? Don't even know where he is. Yeah, he's not actually an AI, but it's funny that the rust gas he spews out is deadly. Because it's just the same rust, rust gas thing. Okay. So, possible to get down here. Whoops. Um... But not useful. 
So what about getting down to the other place? The other side. Or is it the whole side? Is that both sides? Yeah, we'll never get down both sides. What about the roof there? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get stuck there. Good. Okay. Um. <laughs> Can I frog please jump down to that roof? Maybe? Why not try it? You only die once. <laughs> oh, well, I was kind of less. If I face the other way, so I bounce off the other way, it might be better. Try and finesse a bit more. Okay, let's get off here. And save if we do it for a little less mucking about. Alright, probably a stag. Well, it worked. Wait, is he friendly to me? I don't know. Now, this stuff is going to need me to climb potions and stuff. Or flares. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're, they're not staying. It's, they're all rolling. What about the potions? The potions. All the bread. Does that roll as well? Yeah, everything rolls. Um, no, drop it. Don't eat it. This isn't going to work. Stacking not on a smooth surface doesn't need to work. Oh well, flat surface. So there might be a way up there, but probably not. Almost nothing there. Anyway, it's not the secret that I'm supposed to find, right? The actual one that the mission is aware of. So, we go back to the forum post. Um, and see if I can find Final secret or see if anybody's got a list. Okay, someone's talking about the rare or someone says where was that one? I think I mean the ostrich spot for the sake of wing. Down at the bottom there. Um, so someone's saying they've got nine out of nine secrets, but no one's telling you what one I'm missing is. That's the problem. That was the that was the council chambers one. It was actually only required looking up. Um, I also don't know how to defeat Colonel. Seems weird that I can't defeat Colonel. Or even in some complicated fashion, like from him in the factory, or maybe the explosive device is gonna be enough, but probably not. Because uh, it would need them to, well, it would need them to do a custom sting response just for killing him, don't you? Because he's invulnerable to everything else, but maybe they do it. So I should try that, go back to the museum and find him there and try and trap him on there table so you can't follow me and then or just try to stab and follow me because you're not that fast um <laughs> oh right um 
It's coming. It's all big spoiler, but that's just my my response that I didn't know what to spoiler out, so I just spoiled the whole. Thing. Uh, loot list. Let's just see if we can find a loot list for it. Loot list not available, okay. I mean, I could open it up in Dromid, but that would kind of be... Um, kind of not a good thing to do, I think. A few, quite a few people actually had a lot of trouble with this mission because of the not finding keys uh, because of things not working. Wait, it took me forever, right? Wait, hey, what? If I posted my, oh, I scrolled down and set up. Um, dum dum dum. Seven secrets. Oh, there. Uh, a bunch of people have found all the nine secrets. It doesn't seem like anybody has actually listed them. Mm-hmm. Well, it might just be another body somewhere with a bit of extra stuff. Um... Someone's saying in the factory. All right, uh, we need to go back in. Do I not have the gears? Oh yeah. That's a. Uh... Not much purpose in <laughs> having the gears when there's not, nothing to shoot with it, really. Uh, oh, maybe I can shoot Colonel with them. Him, but not enough, right? So that's enough to knock him down, but he's just going to get up again, right? Don't think it killed him. He's still pumping away. Yeah, he's just going to again. He's... No, oh, we'll be back here. Colonel's a very strange antagonist to this mission. He's spooky the first time you play, at least for a while, until you realise that he's just triggered to appear and just comes to get you. And then he's not... I mean, he's, he's clearly been a big annoyance for a bunch of people, but for me, it turns turned out to be more amusing than annoying. 
this is the wrong way. This is the engineer's quarters. Um. He's very easy to lose. Right, he's not very fast. He doesn't have a ranged attack. He's very easy to lose. He does behave more like a zombie than the other enemy. So it's weird to have him as a constant antagonist. Obviously, if he was too deadly, it would be a problem. But it's still weird to have him as a constant antagonist. That uh, ends up being a, a minor nuisance rather than a threat. Just feels like a strange decision. Oh, is he coming through now? Let's get close. Um, we've got the one from there. Oh, we can actually see the door. I just I don't know why I didn't look at. Didn't notice it until I was actually in there. It's like, oh, there's a door in here. Nothing hiding up there, right? I, went, I think I looked up there already. Yeah, I just went around to the other side of the room. Big glowy things. Uh, what about on top of the <laughs> telescope? I never looked on top of here, right? You could hide something here, but they didn't. Why that's making a weird pinging sound. Uh, all banners must die. But they're probably not hiding anything. I like when Colonel tries to walk up the corner. If he chases you across here, he cuts the corner and falls through the bars and gets stuck in there. But first time I played, I thought I'd caught him for good, and then it turns out no, he just respawns. And that's what gave it away, because I got him stuck there and then he disappears and reappears. Nothing is a bigger indication of a cheating AI than uh, than that. There's nothing extra secret in here, right? This is just the device. Quick way down. Yeah, I'll just go around. Uh, so. What am I what am I gonna do? What am I trying to do? Someone says just continue past the three corroded canisters secret nearby, okay. We go back to the factory area. Wait, where was that? Here. Yeah. Oh, wait, yes. Oh, I can get up this way. It's more easily. Can you pass this? Maybe. Can you up here, Parsons? Ah, uh, maybe someone's just talking about getting up there. I don't know. Where's my flares? Flares, flares, flares. <laughs> oh, look, I can swim. In deadly acid. Very safe. Uh, well, that's not a secret lane, right? It's 
So someone had posted a question about, oh, I think there's a secret here and this is the good house. Oh, hello. There's a gas area there. That's a thing. <sighs> oh, can't. Oh, right, yeah. I remember this. I came here the first time. I just can't see right now. <laughs> Apart from it being dark. Oops. Uh, I, I don't want to fall down there. Apart from being dark on the screen and light in the room, there's also now... Uh... <laughs> oh, hey. Jump up there, guy. There's also now a bit of a glow on the screen as well. Diffuse reflection. Right, where's, where's, let's get a flare out and let me see what I'm doing here. At least then I can see the edge. Not that it helps. This might be the last secret just here. This is, I did find this last time I played and completely forgot that it existed. Alright. Just a couple of fire arrows. And there's a gas arrow. Does this count as a secret? Or not? That is above the place below. So. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, is that a secret? Nope. It's not counted as a secret. <clears throat> but it was some more fire arrows. So Thirteen left. This mission is the most generous with equipment, like, way more than enough to destroy everything, I think. I mean... Heck. There's all those fire arrows. Right, all these deactivated... ...guys in here, there's probably enough to kill them all, right? But, no, there was, I think, a few more than... ...fifteen. I still don't really know how they count with this for stuff. Well, the eyes aren't switching off when I do this, so maybe it's... Maybe it's not actually killing them. In any meaningful way. They probably just like scripted to be off but still have sound in some... Awkward fashion. Uh, okay. I think I'm mean, gonna have done all the jobs, right? So this is still technically possible. To go and extra shut down the factory, as it were. Um, unnecessary. Apparently also dropping the explosive device in there it's a big enough piece of metal that it counts. Uh, someone mentioned something else metal they dropped in there that wasn't a, cor a bot corpse. <laughs> well, it's still dropping bits in, but it's Apparently it's stopped. That one's still going. Of course the texture won't stop animating. Uh, unless it really went to the trouble of doing a texture swap, which is a lot of work. Um, hmm. Oh, there was something up here right, that I missed. Again, I think more equipment rather than secret, but... Or maybe not. Maybe it's just possible to get up here. I was just waiting to bypass the factory floor. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to hide more secrets, these upper bits of the factory, you know, you don't have a reasonable place to do it.
Oh hey, we have another bot body here. I can go put the, I can go drop it in the second hole. Why not? Let's destroy this place for good before I uh, go have some lunch. Four hours is probably enough time to call it a day. Again, no one, in, no one in the forums is mentioning the other secrets as far as I can see. I'll go click through again in a minute. Just for the sake of completeness. Honk. Oh yeah, look. It did stop throwing the balls in. So we've killed the factory multiple ways now, so we can turn the lights back on if we want to. Or off if we want to, but there's no reason to. We have the 50 gears of death, which we don't need. Um... That's a bit of fancy brushwork pattern around the door there. And the pointless because you can barely see it, but I guess you see it on the side. Alright, um... I don't know why some of the green pipes light up, you know, and some of them don't. I mean, like, we turn it off and some of them re actually react and turn off and some of them don't. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Sit and listen to the sermon. I admire the view, and I will scroll up a bit more in the forum here. Um, Oh, that's a nice Easter egg. I'll go and look at that in a second. Um, wait, what? Okay. Apparently... This is supposed to be sufficient to get rid of Colonel. Let's go find Colonel. I want to go back to the museum anyway. Which I don't remember how to get there. Well, up here, obviously. Um, yeah, someone said there is a way to get rid of Colonel. It involves a custom weapon found near the beginning of the mission. Which I saw that last time I looked at the thread. God, I can't see a thing. Um, but I didn't know what I was talking about. Because I didn't find any custom weapon. But this time I did find a custom weapon. And also, there's another easter egg here in, in the museum. God, I can't see you with this thing. Oh, wow, it gives him. Okay. And he actually has a zombie body that they haven't detected. Alright. Um... <laughs> okay. So this other Easter egg is also this way, which is why I, kind of went, I wanted to come here this way regardless. So it is possible to kill Colonel, but not in the ordinary fashion through the mission. Okay. When I said I wanted a way to kill him, it was more about dramatic, you know, conclusion, but you can't really have a dramatic arc to kill Karras and a dramatic arc to kill Colonel, kind of. It's not big enough. I would just, uh, come on, Garrett. Grab the thing. It'll be a bit redundant in a mission of this size to have two big dramatic arcs, you know, conclusions. Come on, alright. Okay. Alright, finally. 
Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> so someone in the comments said, uh, nice touch with the gilded apple on the iron tree. I guess this is the iron tree and that's maybe a gilded apple. Referencing the poem from, uh, was it Thief 2? Where, yeah, the poem, I mean, it's also in, repeated in Thief 3, I think. Um, where Hanukkah has, and the interpreter is reading a poem, something about, I plucked the gilded apple from the iron tree or something. It's the same one. That is kind of revealing what character's all about. And uh, what character's all about. That's about when I quick load and get the uh ouch. Uh get the rest gas sound happening. Garrett. Oh, and it plays until until some other sound plays. Okay, definitely a bug. Possibly an engine bug, rather than anything else. Okay, We're rolling down the stairs. Pace actually tumbles really well. Much better than I expected. Usually the physics is bad enough that you kind of it would half heartedly slide, but no. Go for a swim. Probably too big. Uh alright, well I don't know I'm gonna just save here over these both of these so I can come back later if I need to. For to find the ninth secret. Um Because okay, I'm going far enough back that it's not talking about secrets anymore. That it's just talking about uh, how to do this. Where do I find this key? Where do I find that key? Uh, or bug, or issues with scripts, or issues with crashes, or issues with the sound. But nothing about secrets. Okay. So I guess we finish incomplete, but uh, not not nearly so badly incomplete as the first time I did it. Firstly, I did it on expert, so I got the optional all the extra artifacts. I am disappointed that you're just collecting the stuff and and not performing the ritual, but. I guess you, I guess you couldn't. I guess you couldn't make it perform the ritual again. Too many dramatic. Uh, trying to make too many dramatic peaks would just undercut them all. So. You have, need to do. You need separate missions. Better pacing. To make that work. Um, so yeah, forty-four hundred missed. Three hundred and forty exactly, and missed one secret. And, uh, oh, I killed one other. I guess that's counting, um, a Colonel himself. All right. Well, I think that is, uh, me revisited enough of the Builder's Paradise. I might come back later to find the final secret if somebody tells me, but I don't think I'm going to hunt for it. Uh, if this, if you know, someone posts a hint, I might post in the form asking for it, but. I'm glad I revisited that. It is absolutely not the same coming back to it, especially when I spent you know six or seven hours the first time round just exploring and getting frustrated because I didn't go into the room of death that was obviously a bad place to go. But uh, yeah, it's a good mission. It's a long way short of perfect, but it's still outstanding. 
and I'll take a I'll take a mission with tons of imagination that's well that's well made rather than a near perfectly made one that's less that's just more generic, you know. This one has imagination in spades. It's really despite all of all the technical problems and build problems and stuff, it's still it's still a really, really great mission. Alright, I'm going to end the stream here, so thanks for joining me, and uh, I guess I'll see you some other time.